Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Collection Wars. Thank you for joining us again. What's up, Michael? Gabe, what are you doing, brother? How are you tonight? Just here hanging out, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to this night, man. Been- yeah, man. I'm, I'm really excited for our guests. I'm really excited to, to catch up with my buddy. I haven't Absolutely. talked to you as much this week, man. I know. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Look at it. And look at When is it that we match? It's rare. It's rare that we both match shirts, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, for, for the viewers out there, it's funny because I'm like, Gabe, you got your shirt on? Oh, yeah. Let me go get my girl. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're great, man. Yeah, man. Okay. So we got, we got a couple of people already joining mm-hmm. us. Yes. We got yeah. Martha here for Manny. Got Mr. Santos here. What's up? Got Juan. Juan, what's up, brother? What's up, Juan, how you doing? Uh, we got Ed in the collector. We got Sean up in the house. What's up, Sean? Hey, my brother Sean. How are you, Sean? Big Cat Pete. What's hey, up, Pete. Pete? How are you, bro? What's Thanks up, Joseph? I haven't talked to Joseph in a couple of days either. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, he's having a nice extravagant yeah. dinner tonight with some. Oh, nice. But yet, yeah, still finds time to get on our show. And we got Harry. What's up? How you doing? We got David up in here. Chris. We got Lil Lee. Lil Lee in the house. <laughs> <laughs> the junk man. And Mike. What's up, Mike? How you doing? Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. How are you, Thank bro? Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Yeah, so- it's a great night for sure. So we want to start off the show with a little little update, right? We've been everybody knows we've been tracking your eight foot star destroyer from the inception. So we got a couple of updates, right, Michael? Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, Gabe, I, I I know this is something that that uh, you know I talked to my wife long and hard about before the show, and me and you've had some deep conversations, but. Um, this has nothing to do with collection wars and our, and our, our current viewers, but um, there's been a lot of drama going on this week, as you well know, um, on another um, situation on another channel. And um, to all those involved, I just want to say, I'm sorry that this is happening and, and what they're going through because on both sides of the spectrum, I know it's not an easy thing. And um, when friendships are being, um, uh, and when it comes to friendships and and the whole reason that that Gabe and I even decided to do collection wars, it was on just how much we love the collecting and, and, and and the, the star Wars realm of all aspects of the, of the collecting community. And, you know, there's a lot of people that have put themselves out there Um, for those people that are watching that don't know what I'm talking about. I apologize, but there's a lot of people that do, but um, I'm just going to just say this, that, that um, I hope this is laid to rest soon and um, we're not going to let hatred get in the, ra- the way of, of friendship. Right, Gabe? Um, we, we, th- there's a lot of people out there that are hurting right now. And um, again, it has nothing to do with collection wars, but there's a lot of people out there that put themselves out there. And there's a lot of people that are involved on both sides of the spectrum, like I said earlier. And um, no. look, um I, you know, I, I hope that when this is all said and done and the dust settles, that um, that we're going to be moving on forward with uh, yeah. chips because that's what it's all about. Absolutely. And 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 I, I think one of the I'm yeah, I'm not going to get into it. We're not going to talk about this. And, no, but, no. But what I do want to say is that, look, we are a big Star Wars collecting community and we need to watch out for each other and we need to stand up for yeah. each other. And when something's not right. When something's kind of just doesn't feel right, you have to speak yes. up because we are a family and we really yeah. are, regardless yeah. of the groups, different groups, different, you know, things, no matter what star Wars is that one thread that ties us all together. And yeah. we're all doing this for the same reasons, right? Because yeah, of that feeling right. we get, you know, when, when we collect these things and, and the star Wars things. So look, I think we should just leave it at this. Enough if you said, see something uh, wrong with the, something happening in the community, make it known, voice it out, because it, it's it's going to protect the, the community as a whole. And I think yeah. that's what we need to be doing. You know, um, so without 
you know. Yeah, and, and just to be real, Gabe had no idea this was going to be brought up. We agreed as partners on this show that it's it's not a topic that we want to bring because because our channel has always been positive, and that's the way it's right. always going to be. But yeah. The the only reason that I that I chose to bring this up, even my wife was like, "Babe, just let this thing settle and rest on its own." But but there's a lot of people hurting again on both sides of the spectrum, and and it's not uh, this is nothing that anyone enjoys whatsoever. And, and I just want to be real clear to those people right. out there: I'm sorry for the situation that's happening to these guys, and I want you to know, Gabe, you're my partner and my brother in this show, and I've always got your back, dude. And I love you, bro. So. Yeah, just want I love you too, bro. Yeah, no, and it absolutely. And look, I again without getting into it, and I my, yeah. you open, you're opening a can of worms here. I'm sorry, but dude. I without, yeah, but obviously there there's even people that we know personally in the collecting world that have had some some issues there. Um so I I, I think look again, let's leave it at I think we're all a big community. We're one big Star Wars family. We need yes. to look out for each other. We need to have each other's backs on, you know, when, when something just seems fishy, when something yeah. seems wrong, we got to make it known. Um, and, and that's it. And yeah. I think, uh, and enough I think, said, it, yeah. enough said, man. And, and the thing is, look, is this the reason I felt it necessary is because there's a lot of people. Of yeah. friends that are getting that would never have this issue yeah. if it wasn't because of some some other person's issues. And when there's friendships right. involved and that are on the line, yeah. that's where I step in and say, "This is a bunch right. of bullshit." And dude, we all love what we do. There's right. not one person that's viewing our show tonight or on on the other channels that don't enjoy doing what they do. And I'm so sorry that they're having to deal with what they're dealing with. But um, off that. I, I just had to, I had to say my piece, you know, Gabe, that I'm not a social media guy. I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on any of the social medias. Hell, I, I have to reach out to you sometimes on, on uh, right. what's going on in the world. But I just uh, want you to know that, man, man, I, I'm, I'm blessed. Number one, that collection wars is, is continuing to be what we are all about, which is a positive community. It's not about a bunch of bullshit and uh, we have a blast and, and look, the, the the viewers that we have, that I mean, obviously we're growing viewers week to week, and it's amazing. And 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 you know, we chose Gabe when we went into this thing. We chose the hardest night of the week, which is a Saturday night, and we're continuing to grow, man. And and these people that take the time to to watch our show and, and learn from us, and we learn from them. And you and I have met so many awesome friends, Gabe, through this deal, and. Uh, I just, uh, I'm so grateful that we are able to do what we do. You know what I mean? I love it. I'm just so all you guys know, I spent an hour, one hour setting up this stand. <laughs> so please tell me that you like the Y Wing because holy, there was a. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we like the Y Wing. We all right, love cool, it. Cool, cool. We, we love it. We love it. Um, Good deal. So, but listen, I'm sorry that I, I I kind of brought it out there, Gabe. I know it wasn't something that was expected, but look, I just want everybody to know that we care so much about our community. We care about our friends and, and our friends that are hurting right now. And, and those people that are listening know who we're talking about. I'm truly, truly from my freaking heart, so sorry that this is even a topic that has to be discussed. Anyways, moving on, let's have a blast. So Bring I think... Here. I think this is a nice way to close out, you know, any, any negativity, any nonsense that's in the community. Look, we're all a family. We're all love Star Wars. We all love collecting. Let's look out for each other. Let's, you know, support each other and let's have fun. And for those that don't play by those rules and those that try to, you know, take advantage of others in our family, this is for you right about here <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> the flute of shame that's what 
Oh my god, dude. There's no shame in that thing, dude. I thought you were gonna play open arms by journey or something. I, I, I don't know. No. <laughs> they get the flute of shame. Oh, um, yeah. So look, you know, talking about all this, you know, obviously offline and and but today we're gonna have fun and we're gonna, you know, do yes. some some fun stuff. We got some fun guests. And let's look at your Star Destroyer, dude. Let's do it, man. Because you everybody got- out there knows that, you know, we've been uh, Mike Salzo, my sidekick, my my partner in crime, my model builder. He's I, I just the most positive. I, I just there's I just want to say so many things about this guy. Um, he's been uh, busting ass on the, on the eight and a half foot Star Destroyer um, that Mark Elkins, you know, built the, the, the superstructure and has made things definitely a lot easier for Mike when it comes to the build. Everything's matching up very, very well. Um, They've been, you know, going back and forth on on it. And uh, I'm so proud. And I was telling Gabe earlier today that I'm so blessed. And and the people that involved that is involved in this project, of course, starting with Mark Elkins, my number one, Mike Salzo and Jason Eaton, you know, taking the time to help out on part of this project. I'm very, very uh, grateful to all of you involved. And I can't believe this is actually for me. I know. Look at this thing. Right. So so on this one picture right here, these pictures were sent to me yesterday. This is the bridge. And and uh, Mike was, was just working on that, that top piece. And just look at the crap. It looks like a little built-in taco. Just the amount of details that go in before – uh, the primer even takes place on all of the kit bashed parts. It's absolutely stunning to me. And it's just like, wow, coming together. And Mike has been nonstop on this thing. And and look at it. Look at look at the, uh, the deflector shields, everything. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful, man. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at how this is coming out. That's crazy. Yeah, if everybody looks in this picture on the background, sorry, Joseph, I throw this out, but that's a 3D printed uh, Cloud City that Joseph's working on that 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 uh, Mike's building um, on the bottom left, which is going to be in future pics of when Joseph comes online with the finished product. But yeah, that's a really cool piece. But yeah, if you look at right here, um, this is so the bridge is almost I'd say 85 um, percent, uh, maybe 80 percent um, done. Um, there's a lot of details that go into each um, section of this Star Destroyer. So Mike has already been, um, he's fixing to start the fiber optics in, in the top bridge area. So they are sectioned off. So every layer section of the Star Destroyer is going to have the fiber optics. And he, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's just, that? I know the that detail word. that's going into that. Jeez. Insane, man. Man, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just even can't even. That's you know, it's crazy. Lately, uh, I watched a recent video Mark Elkins told me to watch with Adam Salvage and um, his oh. over there, and they were talking about the original eight and a half foot Star Destroyer, and it's been damaged big time because it's been touring different museums and whatnot, and they've had to bring it back into the uh, into the shop for repairs and whatnot, and. Uh, that's it's cute. really, it's really crazy. All the the now, details are going to this. Um, okay, so now, Michael. Yeah. Now, besides the Star Destroyer. Yeah. We got another another cool update from your house, right? Can we show yeah. that? Yep. Yeah. Look at look at this, guys. My- so, so my lovely wife Denise has, uh, and it's our anniversary tomorrow. And um, she's like, you know, it's our anniversary tomorrow. I'm like, well, there's your Barbie room, babe. I love you. <laughs> yeah. But, but all kidding aside, it has been an absolute blast building this um, together, you know, working with her on this, you know, you know, building the, the stands for all the Barbies and building that center base. But yeah, so we're we're almost 90 percent done with the, the, the Barbie room and um, in the. In in the near future, the very near future, within a, the next 30 days, I'm going to have my lovely wife on and we're going to be going over. So so you you viewers out there that have wives that might like Barbie, 
that's going to be the night that you want to bring them on because we're yes. going to we're going to bring her in here and and I'm going to make her discuss a little bit about what's involved in the Barbie side of things. So Look at that room, man, yeah, that's so cool. Man. I love yeah. that sign too. Jeez, yeah, we just got the sign completed. It's taken freaking three months to get. You know, in the in the world that we live in nowadays, everything's hard to get. But um, in the way that she's you know, set up each and every one of those Barbies is, is in chronological order mm -hmm. on, you know, from years and the, the clothes that were released those years. And I've learned so much, you know what I mean? And it's been yeah. fun. So you also, there's also some, some updates of just some other stuff, right? Like you have your, you set up your um, Indiana oh. Jones vintage stuff. Yeah. So, you know, I was able to, so I, I I've got this like cigar, slash statue room that that we put that goes from like the living area and in, into the barbie room it's like in between and we built these statue like those little bookshelves like you know design deals and and i and there's not a lot of vintage kenner um indiana jones which i absolutely love so i built this space last weekend and i'm missing the horse i'm missing the uh, just i'm missing a couple a couple of them the the mechanic which i've actually just purchased and um i think there's one more figure that i'm missing but that's all that was released in the 80s of the vintage uh indiana jones and so yeah i'm, I'm going to be putting a plaque on this but yeah and we've got of course the down lighting but yeah i love the the, the vintage indiana jones that's figures cool, man. thank you bro yeah so we, i was real careful in the sand but it was just a blast building all that yeah stuff. So I, I got a little update for our viewers. Talk to me. Last night, I watched Alien. <laughs> and this morning, I watched Aliens. So, and you know why I did it? Because I wanted to be ready for our next guest who has some amazing Alien stuff. And I was just like, you know what? What a perfect time to do this. I'm just gonna sit and watch it. Um, I did watch it, part one and part two. I definitely like part two better. I think yeah. it's definitely more kind of action packed. It's, yeah. it's a little yeah. bit more, you know, the, the speed is is up tempo. Definitely, I could you could tell the the directors who directed it, right? Yes, you definitely can tell that you know um, what's his name Ridley Scott. You could kind of same style as 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 uh, Blade Runner for the first. Yeah. And then obviously um, it's James Cameron, right? Does the second yeah. one. So yeah. you could definitely get that, you know, James Cameron yeah. vibe. A little more it. action in there. Right. So without further ado, let's yeah. bring on our guest. I am yeah. so excited to have Manny on. As you guys know him, yes. uh, obviously Manny, but um, poor Demac studios right he's known in the community he's very well respected he makes some awesome awesome prop replicas manny what's up guys how you doing how are you? thank you for having me man we really appreciate it not really a, appreciate it not a problem thank you thank you for for coming stopping by is that is that, that my, my echo? echo i hear an echo right yeah i hear an echo too yeah maybe can you turn maybe turn the volume down I don't know. There you go. I think that's that might have done it. Yeah, a little bit better. Yeah. There you yeah. go. I heard them say that on the radio all the time when they were live. So that's the only reason I need to say that. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you finally watch Aliens. I right. I mean, it's it's been a long time coming, and I just I, I'm telling you, when Michael told me that you um you know you were gonna join us, I was like, I, I started looking at your your collection and the stuff you make, and I was like. That's it. I got to just Yeah, do man. That. that was uh, Aliens is one of my favorite science fiction movies. You know, Terminator, of course, Star Wars. You know, that's the most of the work yeah. that I do. I've been doing all these years in Star Wars. But yeah. Aliens is, is an incredible movie. Of course, I mean, the both, fir you know, first movie and, and the second that Cameron did, you know, is, yeah, it's, you know, different perspective. You know, Cameron tried to, you know, follow the story, you know, of the first one. But the first one is more like a horror science fiction film, yeah. you know, and uh, but yeah. I think, you know, he did a very good job, you know, bringing, that, you know, doing the second one. 
that's funny that you you mentioned that Manny because that's exactly so I was I was talking to um to to our buddy Lee this morning about it because he's always asking me about the movies and what I think and he has the list for me um and that's exactly what we were talking about I was like I felt like the first one I I don't know how to categorize it like is it a horror film is it a sci-fi film is it a thrill like it's kind of a mixture of everything. It's a mixture, yeah. I mean, yeah. Ridley Scott, he did a fantastic job. And uh, now you have to watch, you know, the other films. No. But uh, in order to kind of follow Ridley Scott's uh, story, you know, you'll have to watch the prequels, right. you know, which I think are pretty good too, you know. Some other people may disagree, but I, I think he, you know, they're they're pretty good. Yeah. So now no, we I, have to wait for Michael to watch Spaceballs. Right? <laughs> Michael, look, look, look. It ain't going to happen, dude. That That's not going to happen. Well, I'm sorry, dude. That movie sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Look at we, we even got, let me see. We even got a, a Spaceballs reference in the comments here uh, back when you were showing, watch, when you were showing the, let me see if I could find it. Um, when we were showing your your um, Star Destroyer, somebody posted. Well, let me see. Where is it? There it goes. It's going from suck to blow. See, Michael wouldn't know, <laughs> Michael wouldn't know the reference. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't know the reference, and I still don't. You got you got to watch it. That's, cool. That's hilarious. <laughs> so so. So obviously a lot of our viewers know who you are, Manny. Um, when I was first introduced to you, thanks to Sean, um, uh, who was a, a, has been on our show previously, um, he hooked me up with you and, and you helped us out, obviously on, on my Darth Vader bill. Um, but t tell us a little bit about your background and how you got to, even your love for Star Wars and the prop replicas. Yeah, well, believe it or not, not a lot of people, I mean, all these years, they really know what's my real profession. You know, I mean, what I was doing before I got into this. This was, uh, you know, fate, I think, life, because I'm a commercial pilot. And I was flying, in, I'm from Venezuela, and I was flying in Venezuela for the Venezuela government. And I actually uh, started working for an airline. You know, I'm a flying engineer, 727-200. But the airline brought, you know, uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, went out of business and uh, the situation, you know, for the, for, in, you know, in the Ministry on Environment, which is the, the, the government uh, place where I was working, you know, I was flying in the rainforest, put me, pushed me to, to go to States and follow, uh, you know, I want to fly in a airline, you know, like U.S. Airways, you know, I mean, a big airline, but unfortunately, uh, I have to, they were looking for pilots to have a bachelor's degree, you know, in order to be, you know, pilots in the airline. So I decided to go to, you know, have a bachelor's degree in aviation technology and I have a major in aviation management from Central Missouri State University. So I did, you know, I did, you know, have my FAA pilot certificate, commercial, you know, advanced ground instructor. And while I was in college, in university, I was doing this as a hobby. Okay, it was very tough for me because I was paying out of out of state tuition. Okay, so basically paying double, you know, what any other American, you know, will pay. And uh, I was doing just uh, assembling, you know, strong trooper, you know, outfits, you know, armor from Galaxy Training. You know, I don't know if you guys remember them. You know, they were in, started, you know, the business in California years ago, and uh, I was painting the Dome Post Classic Action Helmet. You know, remember they were, you know, made out of plastic and I was yeah. painting them, you know, to look, look like the, you know, the locks or like the ones used in the film. Right. So what happened was that in 2001, I got hired by Cessna, you know, to start working for them in Wichita, Kansas, in their facility, you know, the, you know, the factory. And September 11th came in 2001. So I lost that opportunity. You know, aviation went down. And well, I have no choice in 2002 to go back to Venezuela. And uh, of course, to me, it was really tough because after, you know, studying, you know, almost four years in university, paying all that, you know, tuition and uh, I say, well, let's well, let's go back and 
see what happens. Yeah. So I decided to, to, you know, to do this, start to build props, you know, and do different things, you know. And meanwhile, the, you know, aviation, you know, uh, got better. I never expect that, you know, I was going to do this for a living. I've been doing this for 19 years. You know, I mean, people start liking my, my work. And uh, I learned from, from a guy from Spain, you know, that, you know, was living in Venezuela. He, he taught me, you know, how to, you know, work on fiberglass, how to paint, you know, and, and just, uh, I mean, I'm still a Padawan learner, you know. I mean, compared to, to a lot of people out there, you know, that I think, I mean, they do phenomenal, phenomenal work. I mean, I don't know how Tom Spina, you know, started, you know. I mean, my friend Howard Samf, you know, he went to Stan Winston School. You know, I mean, so there's a lot of people out there that have a huge background on on prop making. You know, mm -hmm. I even, you know, met one guy here where I live, you know, he worked for Stan Winston Studios, you know, and uh, and gosh, I mean, to see so many people, you know, around the world that love my work and they speak very highly of my work. I mean, even, you know, celebrities, you know, like Adam Savage, you know, I mean, like the late Dave Prowse, the late Stan Lee you know, Luke Ferrigno. I mean, so many people that, I mean, I'm still, I can't believe it, you know, because I'd ever, I never studied this, you know, I've been learning, you know, I've been kicking the can, you know, and uh, learning as I go, you know, and yeah, I've been, you know, very blessed to, to meet a lot of good people, you know, sometimes, well, you don't mean, you know, the, sometimes you meet bad people too, you know, but I, I'm grateful and very blessed that most of the people that God put me in my, in my way, you know, they were good people, you know, and I really appreciate you guys support and, and everybody, you know, around, around the world. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, and that's kind of my story, you know, that's, that's crazy that you're a pilot, you're, you're an airplane pilot that, yeah, man, it just, that's uh, crazy. Yeah. And I, I miss it, you know, but yeah. Gosh, I mean, I got so involved in this that I love what I'm doing. You know, I mean, I put like, you know, Michael said the other day in, in your show that, you know, Manny does, you know, the work he does is like it was for him. And it's true, you know, and I, I really hate to rush work. And and sometimes I understand that, you know, my customers, you know, yeah. they get, in, you know, excited. And uh, gosh, it's just uh, I yeah. can't rush the work. You know, it's yeah. really hard. And I want to please everybody. You yeah. know, right now I'm super behind on my pain schedule, you know, on my work schedule, you yeah. know, but uh, I try to deliver and, and, and give everybody the, the best, you know, what they're looking for. Well, Plus, also I'm a collector like you guys, like everybody. So, yeah. Gabe, I, was, I, was I want to share. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say real quick that, you know, Manny, there's so many people like you out there that whether it's prop replicas or anything in the Star Wars realm, um, that are, are, are not licensed and, and they're, and they're creating their, these amazing pieces and they're going into it. They're, you know, they're, they're positive that they're, they're, they don't have any, you know, ambitions, but to get this done 110%, but they get overwhelmed. And, and if they're not careful, they can get into trouble. And, and, uh, I would, I want you to know that dealing with you has been 110%. You know, you were very terrible when we purchased the, the, the Vader stuff, where we were at on it, when well, it was shipping, and it was awesome experience. No, well, thanks, man. And I, I have to thank everybody because, I mean, I, my work is word to mouth. You know, I don't do any publicity. You know, I mean, I don't, it's all com private commission, you know. And actually, I just don't, you know, look for, for customers. You know, I mean, the fans comes to me, you know, and they, you know, whatever they, they want. I mean, I mean, it's, it's in, in my possibilities, you know, I'll do it, you know, I mean, well, I can't please everybody, you know, it's tough, you know? Yeah. Well, Manny, I just want to share something with you. So this morning, you know, we hadn't advertised that you were going to be on the show today up until this morning. And this morning I received a message from Harry and Harry uh, Larios, who's, who's watching right now. Oh yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And he was like, Look at Gabe. I just received my Vader helmet. I mean, my Vader costume. It's amazing. And I was like, oh, we're going to have Manny on the show today. And he was like, what? But he sent me these pictures. Oh, and yeah. Just, yeah. He sent it to me, too, man. He's super, he was super happy. So exciting, you know, man. Looks fantastic, man. Look at how cool this is. I mean, it, it's so good. It's such well-made, 
Vader costume. It Literally. really is. It makes the sideshow look like total dog crap. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, look, look at that. That's, so I was wondering how he was doing all those poses because I was thinking of a mannequin, and that's why. That's unbelievable. He fits it. No. Yeah, yeah, that's probably you hope. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder hey, uh, Harry, how, how tall are you? Are you six in the six feet range? <laughs> Yeah, that looks really, really yeah, it looks good. really cool, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. That look, you already today, even without, you know, any yeah. There's some customers, man. There's some fans yeah. there that they, man, they nail the character so well. I mean, yeah. amazing. You know, yeah. I have a good friend of mine, James Martinez, and uh, boy, I mean, he's fantastic. You know, on, you know, cosplaying as Vader. And right. uh, there's so many other, you know, friends and, like Paul, you know, it's just, uh, I well, mean, so many people, you know, they I mean, really, and they love it, you know, just. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, right. You got Lou Ferrigno has oh, a, yeah, a man. few I mean, of your pieces, right? Yeah, we, we gave that uh, flashbang grenade, uh, a friend of mine and three friends, you know, three of us did that for, for him. One passed away, unfortunately, two years ago mm -hmm. and uh, very sad. And yeah, we. We give one to to Lou and one to Stan Lee, and oh, uh, have to you know, man, he was he was so happy, you know, when we give it to him and, yeah. and to Stan. And uh, actually, Stan Lee, he dedicated a plaque. We do we did custom plaques, yeah. and uh, one he dedicated to Stan Lee, dedicated to Lou, and Lou dedicated to to Stan. Wow, that's and, really. Uh, and then yeah. Lou, you know, we did plaques for for me for. For my other friends and uh they they dedicated to 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 us so yeah that was part of his 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 collection you know so that's really he has one of my vader bus uh too you know that i get. yeah that's what i he I, you sent this picture yeah that was so i mean amazing you know to see lou you know mm -hmm. have that on his facebook page uh, and yeah. that was like a week after i met him and uh and the orlando megacon Mm -hmm. And uh, they were shooting the Eye on Your Father, that documentary that you guys should, you know, when you get a chance, watch it. You know, it's really, really good of the yeah. life of Dave Prowse. I met one of the directors, yeah. you know, Tony Vistar. And uh, and that's what I gave that day. I gave Dave that Vader helmet. That's my know? favorite picture right there. That's and awesome. uh, and they use that for the trailer for the for the documentary. And yeah. Dave, he never, nobody gave a Dave a Vader helmet ever, mm -hmm. you know, not even George Lucas. You mm -hmm. know, they have some problems, you know, in right. during filming, you know, and uh, yeah. at this point, I don't know what happened, you know, it's just, uh, but that was kind of sad that he was banned for, for, yeah. for, to go to any Star Wars convention, you know, that's something that, you know, I, I, I disagree with, you know, with Lucasfilm. Mm -hmm. By doing that to him and he was uh you know he was awarded a medal you know in london by the queen right you know for all his uh work you know for mm -hmm. for the kids there you know right the cross cross the, right? yes the, correct yeah. and uh but anyway it's it's, it's a shame yeah. and he was so grateful with me you know that i gave that helmet and uh he was from that date he was taking that helmet with him on all his oh, to the man. conventions and that that particular helmet, you know, it was worn by Buzz Aldrin in one of the conventions. You know, there is a picture. I should, yeah, I didn't send that picture to you guys. I'll, I'll definitely have to send it. That's really that. cool. And uh, that was really, really cool. Yes. And that, wow. I, I met uh, Lou Ferrigno mm -hmm. that uh, day in Megacon. It was so funny because he was signing right next to Dave. Oh. And uh, when he saw the helmet, you know, he stand up and, you know, approached Dave and say, wait, wait, where you got that? You know, I say, well, man, he <laughs> does that. And say, wow. And he, he left people standing there, you know, waiting and say, hey, I want one. I want one of those helmets. You know, yeah. Can you get me one. Say, yeah. well, sure. I mean, but the thing is, you know, I, I have some in my shop, but they're for all the customers. No, please bring me one. Bring me one. Yeah. So anyway, he, he stand up again, you know, look at the helmet and I say, OK, I'll, I'll bring you one. Mm -hmm. So he the next day I had to drive to Orlando again to bring him, you know, the helmet. And uh, I took the opportunity to give Dave a, a Vader armor, you know, oh, that he right. took with him to 
to England, you know, and uh, one of the guys who was always traveling with him to help him, you know, Julian, he took the helmet with him, you know, in the airplane. So, and uh, you can see that helmet uh, in an interview uh, at the BBC in London. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, I think that was in, gosh, in 2012, I think. Is it? I think, if is I remember it, right. Is it this? Is it or this? 2011. Is it this one? Yes. Yes. Correct. Yeah. And I did that plaque, you know, uh, for him too. And I gave one to Lou. I usually give it to my customers, you know, mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as a present. I have to send it to you guys too. You oh. know, and he valued that so, so much. And for me, that picture, you know, it was so, so, I mean, an oh, honor, man. You know, definitely yeah. an honor. And such a nice guy. And uh, we sure are going to miss him. You know, very sweet guy. Yeah. For sure, very sweet. Yeah, yeah. that's. Yeah, I mean, he trained are... Christopher Christopher Reeve to play the character to play Superman. You know, he yeah. built him up. You know, that's why Lou he has such. Yeah. A, uh, you know, he. You know, he honor Dave so much. You know, because of you know he was a bodybuilder. You know, and mm -hmm. Lou knows you know what he takes to to get yeah. there as a bodybuilder. You know, it's not an easy road. Yeah, but uh, and Dave, you know, all the, the plaque he signed for me, he always signed next to his signature the MBE uh letters. You know, that was when he was uh, awarded by the Queen, you know, by the mm. British Empire. Uh, I forgot the medal of the British Empire, that's what it means, medal of the British Empire. Empire. Wow, so very, very nice guy. I mean, too bad, you know, he was starting, you know, have uh, developed dementia. You know, and the times that I talked to him, he barely remembered. He told me, I barely remember what I did the, the day before. Oh, you know, so that was, that was tough. Yeah, you know? that's unfortunate. But I mean, that's, that's such an amazing story. And, and the fact that you got to build these relationships with, you know, Dave and, and Lou. And, and again, it's just, I, I think I, you're, you're known, I mean, you're known in the community for that you know, for the, for the helmet. I mean, honestly, the, the Darth Vader, the um, port mac helmet is just known in the community. So, yeah. And, 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 you know, I'm not the only one. I mean, there are other, you know, Vader makers out there, you know, I mean, the things I don't, I'm not a member of the, of many forums, you know, I mean, it's just sometimes in those forums, you know, it's like what Michael was talking at the beginning of the show, you know, I mean, I mean, you have to be constructive, not destructive, you know, yeah. So I'm not perfect in my work, okay? And uh, I understand that a lot of customers, a lot of fans, they want perfection. They want to achieve, you know, to have like the best Vader out there, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my work is based on quality, you know, maybe not that much in screen accuracy, you know, because for example, my Vader helmet, my mask, you know, it's, it's not worked. You know, a lot of people, they want some kind of like heritage, you know, from the, from the original prop, you know? Mm -hmm. And I learned from, from this guy who works in, in, in Hollywood, you know, that they don't have time to make things pretty, you know. I mean, only the hero props, they, they do that. Mm -hmm. But for, for all the props that are used in the film, they have tons of imperfections. You know, you don't, you don't see that on camera, you know. And, uh, and I, I, I kind of like, you know, yeah, I want to do things, you know, the best I could. But I decided to kind of like add my personal touch to it. You know, I want to, you know, I don't want to warp neck. You know, I want things more. I, I don't want imperfections on it. You know, I want the, the paint job flawless, you know. And I seen, you know, yeah, other other Vader makers that they do it like in the film, you know, with, you know, yeah. imperfections, you know, dance, you know, scratches, you know, that's mm -hmm. that's fine. But that's that's kind of like my 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 how can I say my my mark, you know, yeah. on the work that I do. Yeah, you know, so absolutely, man. So Manny, I, I, you sent me um, a few other Star Wars things. Let me, let me just kind of go through those and see if. Um, so there's a, there's a, there's a Boba Fett, but that. Yeah, that's one. My Boba Boba Fett from Sideshow. That's a Sideshow, and okay. Yes, I mean I, I have a lot of uh, props, you know, from Sideshow, yeah. and as a collector, you know. And I want to have, you know, the best piece, you know, I mean, yeah. I, and I, and I go into those details that some of these companies, they miss, 
Mm-hmm. You know, I can understand they probably because they run into production things, you know, they don't want to, you know, take too long. But for a piece like this, that is eight thousand dollars, you know, they you know, they should have put more more detail on it, you know. Yeah. And uh, I added that beacon, you know, the light into the beacon. Mm-hmm. I actually have that uh, machine, you know, that's uh, I think I, I got that one from my friend Lucas Alvarez, you know, Phoenix Props in Argentina. You know, he does he does fantastic work and some of these uh, accessories, you know, for, mm-hmm. for different characters, Star Wars characters. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to add that. And for example, that helmet, the Boba Fett helmet is a master replica. So I didn't like the helmet that came with the oh. with the Sideshow statue, you know. Yeah. And uh, I rather, you know, use the master replica, which is I think is mm-hmm. one of the best. You know, there are others out there, you know, but yeah. uh, this one is really, really nice. So I added, you know the you can turn the beacon on the gauntlet on the right gauntlet by mm-hmm. the switch so i add switches i added you know spikes you know made out of aluminum yeah uh, i added uh, spikes on the boots which made out of aluminum i added those two on the on the knee part knee pads which mm-hmm. are uh, made out of aluminum and uh, recently i got uh, in contact with a guy in england and he those tools on the on his pants yeah, I got it from from him, and they not those particular ones, mm-hmm. but the the ones actually used in the in the film. You know, they yeah. came from different plastic parts and stuff, and what they did was painted them. More oh, accurate. So, nice. Yeah, it was kind of. So is kinda this cool. the is this the earlier version sideshow piece? Because it's got a different stance, a little bit different than the one that uh, I know that Tom Spina designs originally. Um, did. Is yeah, that right? this one, I, I think Gino, he did that mannequin for Sideshow. Okay. You know, and Gino, uh, Sideshow, they were going to, when I saw this one in Orlando, you know, I, I fell in love with it, you know, because I think it was a very good representation of, of Boba Fett, you know. I okay. mean, I, I know Don't Post Day One, which I think was the Return of the Jedi. I mean, at that time, it was amazing, you know, to own one of those life-size statues from Don't Post was, man. But this one, I like it a lot. Yeah. And uh, I think I was one of the first uh, uh, people out there that pre-ordered it because they they actually later, they the the, the statue went up in price like a thousand dollar more. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. But, but I really like, I like the fact that, you know, we, we always talk about it on Collection Wars that, you know, we want to inspire people on their collections and things like that. I think yeah. this is a perfect example how you took something and you kind of just added, you know, more accurate stuff and just made it better, you know? Yeah, actually, uh, under the belt, uh, the the buckle, you know, I mean, it's, it's made out of resin. So I found the, the very same diver's mm-hmm. buckle that was used in the original prop. And then I use like, the, the he has a side arm, okay, uh, inside his uh, holster. And I was able to get the Pulse 40 pistol, you know, and make a replica of it, you know, because the whole thing was made out of resin. And mm-hmm. I had Jeremy Bullock, you know, to sign. I made a plaque. Uh, one, of, one of my friends, uh, Edward Anderson, you know, he makes uh, uh, fantastic plaques. And uh, I, he made one for me, and I have Jeremy Bullock to sign it. So That's I actually cool. have two plaques, one that came with a uh, signature tradition uh, Boba Fett helmet, Mm-hmm. And the one that you know that I have for the statue for the sideshow statue. That's but really that's a, that's a cool piece, man. That I, is. I think, I think uh, in the background piece. you can see the. That's where I do the assembling, no. and you can see the torso of the alien there. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Now I can say I recognize it. I was just saying, yeah. Now you know, right? Now, I was just going to say real quick that I've been talking to to Gabe actually today. I mean, these plaques that are now that you can get customized and modified for all the, the viewers out there that are watching that maybe not know about these plaques, it's, it just takes your display to the next level. I mean, you, you've got your, your actual piece, then you've got maybe a diorama, and then you've got a plaque, and, and it, just, it just makes it just that much more professional. And there's so many pieces in my personal collection that I want to get back Oh, yeah, man. It looks fantastic. I, I mean, yeah. uh, my friend uh, Andy Anderson, you know, I mean, he he got me to that, actually, you know, and I appreciate it because, I mean, most of the props he he he, he owns, you know, he, you know, he always put a plaque to next to it, you know, and it adds some, it, it adds 
kind of like a story, you know, because it, 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 you know it tells what the the prop is, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, and I've been you know collecting you know signatures, you know, autograph mm -hmm. from yeah. from from most any actor that I can get, you know, to sign one of those those plaques, you know, so to, to display, you know, a lightsaber, you know, with Edward McGregor signature, you know, it's it's man, it's it's amazing, you know, and a yeah. part of it. I mean, in, in my collection, you know, I have yeah, I have a lot of autograph, you know, from yeah. from so many actors, you know. So that's uh. Do you do you go to a lot of cons, Manny? Do you, are you? I used to go. Yeah, I used to. I used to. You used to go to Dragon Con in Atlanta, you know, Mega Con in Orlando, you know, Star Wars Celebration. We have three here, you know. And the first time I came, you know, I flew all the way from Venezuela. You know, one of my customers, I made a full Vader costume, you know, and uh, he invited me to to go. And we had a blast. Nice. So that was, a, I think it was Celebration 5, if I, if I remember. Gotcha. Yeah. What's your favorite thing, Danny? If you, obviously, I know you're really big into the life size. Um, are you more into, like, Gabe's a big prop replica guy and is known in the, in the collection world as prop You mean the, the, my favorite Vader? Not, not necessarily a favorite Vader. Do you like more of the life size props? Or oh, yeah. do you like the like guns and? What, what is yeah, more? I used, yeah, most of my collection is, is mostly life size stuff. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, for the guns, lightsabers, you know, the statues. Uh, what else? I mean, gosh, I mean, for Terminator, I mean, my, my, the, the, my collection is based on Terminator, Aliens, Predator, Star Wars, and Marvel. You know, oh, yeah. I don't have, you know, uh, Marvel, yeah, I mean, I probably have more Star Wars props than anything else. But uh, what about, Marvel? What, about, what about Temple of Doom or Back to the Future 2? <laughs> <laughs> what about what? Uh, that's just an, an inside joke. Right, Danny, you you know, know, you know, in every guest. <laughs> what do you, which Back to the Future do you like better, part one or part two? Part one, bro. Boom! Okay. How what, yeah. which, which Indiana Jones do you like better, part one or part two? Oh, part one by far. Yes, I am. Right, Gabe, yeah, I have a reason for that, you know. What's, it's just, what's the uh, you know, Back to the Future for me, the first one was a complete film. I mean, they didn't need to do another one. I you know, it's just it was perfect. You know, yeah. if they have to do that That's movie true. again, I mean they're gonna screw it up. Yeah. You know, it was perfect. But, it's kind of like ET. It's kind of like ET. Yeah. It's a, kind of like the same thing, even though I did write a sequel to it. I think <laughs> that, that that is right, Gabe. But yeah, it's just, it's all, it was kind of about, of course, they care about the story, but it's the almighty dollar before the story. And, and but I think don't get me wrong. I mean, Back to the Future, it was a great film. You know, I enjoy it. It was fun. I mean, to see, yeah. you know, they go back to 1955 again and you see, you know, Marty, you know, being there, two Marty's, you know, at the yeah. same time. I mean, that was that was very well done. And yeah. actually, I like part three too. You know, I mean, I think it wasn't that that bad. You yeah. know, I, uh, overall, the trilogy was good. You know, it I mean, I, I can't say the same for the recent trilogy that you know Disney did. You know, I mean, unfortunately for Star Wars, but uh, the the trilogy, you know, for for Back to the Future, you know, was 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 not bad. You know, it has a lot to do with age, in my humble opinion. Like, like, look, Gabe, you know, he, he yeah. loves Phantom Menace and Jar Jar Bink. <laughs> because that's not true. Michael, why are you spreading, why are you spreading rumors about it? It's <laughs> my Gabe's my boy. But all, all kidding aside, like everyone, you know, Star Wars four, five, and six, the majority is gonna always say the story of Empire. It's just got so much, and I agree to that, but it's just the first showing of Star Wars. And I think Gabe was Return was the first movie. Did you see was Return the first movie that you saw? Yeah. I mean, I don't remember because I was pretty little, but yeah. yeah, that was the first movie I, I went to the I mean the only Star Wars movie theater or movie I watched in the movie theater. Yeah, yeah, because it's crazy. It's it's you know how 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 because there's so many people that you know they love you know, Return of the Jedi. It was their first film, and and I get that part. I remember those times of Return of the Jedi. I remember the times in Empire. You know, but right, right. I mean, for me, my my favorite film, Star Wars film, is Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, you know, it just uh, 
God, that that film that he he sets the the story, you know, boom, boom, you know, it's just like uh, I mean, I knew Hope was a great <laughs> film, you know, but just Empire Strikes Back is more darker, you know. It just uh, I mean, it's, it's my my favorite, you know. I mean, uh, yeah. of all the old trilogy, of course. Yeah. See now, what Michael started is people are now gonna be like <laughs> Jar Jar Binks episode one. That's fine. That's hey, we can talk about I've been throwing those in there, dude. Just get busted his balls, but he knows. It's all right. It, it's all right. It's right. A movie. <laughs> you should see his Jar Jar collection. He, it's, I've been it's trying like to Blade Runner. You, you guys watch. You, you watch Blade Runner, right? Uh, no, you haven't. You haven't oh, watched it, right? I, wa I just watched it recently. You did. You did. Yeah, the, I did. First one or the second one? Just the first one. The first one. Yeah. I like the first one better than the second one. But yeah. that's that's me. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch the second one. No, I, I'm trying to keep up with these old guys. You know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta you know, I gotta keep up. You know hey, that's I mean? what it comes down to, Gabe. You know, if if they're older and you ask those certain questions, you're gonna lose if they're older. You know? I didn't bring it up. You brought it up. <laughs> Not me. Hey, I, I want I want the community to know that. I mean, my life would effing suck if Gabe didn't exist in my life. I fucking love this guy, man. He is my, he is my sidekick, man, and I just love him so oh, much. Man. So, and and yet, Michael will not watch Spaceballs. Man, <laughs> tell him how great Spaceballs is. You have to watch Spaceballs. It's, it's not Mel Brooks. Happen. Mel Brooks. I, I, mean, I, mean, he I would rather genius. have my freaking teeth pulled out than watch that movie, dude. Mel no, Brooks, man, is man. A, it was a genius. Genius. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good movie. Like, you George know, Lucas. so was George Lucas, and I'd rather watch his version. Is, it was a good. You know, <laughs> I mean, George it Lucas was made film. I mean, it was just, it was hilarious. John Candy that was there, man. I mean, you just love John Candy. Apparently, Very not actor. enough to support him in that film, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's a it's a job. Job. I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, all right, let's wait. Let's let's go back to some pictures here. Let's <laughs> before we get too out of out of uh, topic here. Uh, Manny, um, Manny what, what's this? You you oh, also that's, a, that's a size thing? show life size hand and carbonite. Oh, that's the side show one. Yeah, you I didn't like I didn't painted. like how they painted it. The you know, black. I think <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they <laughs> suck. I mean, and again, I mean, I love side show. You know, I have a lot of stuff from side show. But man, most of the stuff that I get from SciShow, I have to either repaint it or weather it, you know, or a change, yeah. you know, because I mean, don't get me wrong, they have very good sculpts, you know, but they it lacks that attention to detail, mm. you know, and of course, yeah. because it's mass product produced, right. you know, something that other companies, you know, like the late master replica, you know, they were really good. I mean, they have attention to detail, yeah. you know. But uh, I have to use like a three-tone uh, mm -hmm. color, you know, on, on the carbonite. And I have to clear coat it. And then I have to kind of like uh, use a steel Other. wool on mm -hmm. areas, you know, to have some depth. Right. You know, and uh, and the result the end result was mm -hmm. amazing. You know, it actually, I mean, I used to own the elusive concepts mm -hmm. and in carbonite. And yeah. let me tell you, that one was uh, cast in the original molds. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, it had more detail mm -hmm. on that one than this one. Probably right. because, I don't know, if the Sideshow had to do a new mold of, uh, of another one. Because I, I found that it lacks detail. Because I had that. I mean, I had the one from Lucy yeah. Thompson's, you know, and I studied the piece. Right. You know, the only thing that I didn't like about the Lucy Thompson's was the box. You know, the box wasn't very good. A wonky. You know, it was wonky. really, I mean, it's, it's not symmetrical. Yeah. It wasn't symmetrical. And I think the original, the original prop wasn't symmetrical, but the, it was bad quality. You know, yeah. I mean, not very good. Yeah. This one is very good quality. And this was one of the first ones, actually, SciShow uh, shipped. And uh, now the panels, the side panels, most of them are already attached permanently to the statue. Um. You know, so now I'm the process. It's harder to modify. Yeah, so I have to make. Uh, I had a one of those dashboards yeah. from the Volvo. You know, yeah. that's what they use for the panel. So I, uh, one of my customers, Sweden, he he mailed me two of them. Nice. So I had uh, one of my 
my guys, who is an expert mold maker, he did a precision cast mold, and mm. I was able to 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 make those. Nice. So I haven't got the chance to actually, you know, finish them. Right. So Gabe, Gabe did a fantastic job. On yeah. That. So I did, I made mine, and, and yeah. same thing with the three. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people does. I mean, it just yeah. uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's, not, it's actually not that hard, you mm. know, to to do it, man. No. Yeah, the weathering I think is probably the what took me the longest. Oh yeah, the weather. This one because it's in daylight. You know, you don't see all the details. But I think I sent you uh, a picture. You know, where you can see the another picture where you can see more of the of the weathering. You know, the, yeah. the death it should be. In you know, that's that's my life size Vader statue. Beautiful. You know, I had a friend of mine who was you know man like two meters over two meters tall, and we made a a mold. You know, with a pose. Yeah. So we made a, a custom made mannequin. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah that's tough. the mannequin was very, very, very tough. Look at this. You, did yeah, you, you that's a that life size speeder bike that we did at Venezuela. That, you know, only we only made five of them. You yeah. know, and uh, I, uh, the person who I made it with, uh, Ramon Fernandez, uh, because the situation in Venezuela and stuff, you know, the molds stay there. So I was I, I was able to keep one. And I yeah. still have it here with me. I'm planning to make molds later oh, and, wow. and offer it as a hot rod, you know, yeah. so people can put it together, assemble. And actually, I got the, the size show uh, once to scale a speeder bike mm -hmm. like three years ago, four years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to do some changes, you know, because I use the Hasbro uh, oh, as your speeder model. bike, the toy, actually, to make this one. And this one is all made out of fiberglass and MDF, and uh, it has a metal chassis, so actually you can sit on it, you know, and have sounds. And that I think it's a okay. little, it's a little bit bigger uh, uh, on the scale, you know, mm -hmm. compared to the original, you know, but very mm -hmm. little. That's so, really cool. Yeah, all made from scratch. So I mean, just yeah. Oh, there's the there's the close up. Yeah, that's more more more. You can see more of the weathering, you know, oh, and the, yeah. the sh you know, the shades. Yeah, it looks it looks I, better. On I see what you mean, though the the loss of of detail. Yeah, you can, yeah, especially v, in that part, right? Yeah, that little V that that's kind of gone. Yeah, there. yeah. it lost a lot of detail. So, mm. ooh, what are these? Oh, that's the 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 bowcaster project I've been working on, man. I'm, I'm, thank oh. you guys for for mentioning, you know, in the in your show. I mean, I'm so close right now to start machine in the first frame. That's the prop shop. And that's the Barnett Commando that Prop Shop used for to make this prop, you know. And so uh, tell I us think, about, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the bowcaster. Yeah, yeah, this the the one that Prop Shop did for the film was 3D printed, you know. And uh, oh. like many of the props they offer, you know, uh, to sell to the public, you know. Fortunately, they went out of business too soon. But this particular prop, it had a lot of problems, you know, they were breaking, you know, especially the part on the, the rear stock, you know. I mean, I believe that Adam Savage had one. He mentioned it to me that, you know, they were like like glass, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was able to, mm -hmm. you know, to, to get the Barnett commander, you know, to compare it, you know. And I have, you know, a, a company in Lake Mary to 3D scan it for me. And yeah, we, we've been working, man. I mean, I have most of the parts already done. The only thing we're just need to put together is just the frame to machine it. You know, it's going to be all made out of aluminum. You know, the scopes are going to be made out of aluminum. I mean, that's the Barnett Commando that's before, Barnett. you know, before I took it apart. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I needed it. You know, I wanted to, to be how that works, you know, all the detail. And uh, actually, I want the, the machine shop, I want it to be extra detail on, on it. You know, I mean, you can see some some angles on the one that Prop Shop did. They're not perfectly straight, so I'm gonna fix that, and uh, I'm gonna make the the scopes hollow. Okay, the ones made by Prop Shop, the scopes are solid <laughs> aluminum. I mean, they will still be made of aluminum, but I want it to be hollow so you can see through the scope. So I don't know why they use that. Uh, I mean, they have to make those out of heavy aluminum when you have a frame, which is 3D printed. So you, you had sent me other one. I'm trying to, sorry, I kind of lost through the pictures. We'll get to them. But there's other, like the balls, you're going to make them out of aluminum. Oh, steel. The, oh, steel. Yes. Okay. 
yeah, they're they're hollow and they're made of steel. And I was very lucky to find a company overseas that actually sells the very same diameter of the one, uh, you know, for the ones that uh, Prop Shop did. You know, very very lucky. You know, because I, that was going to be a headache to make those because I didn't want to make those spheres uh, out of solid aluminum. Yeah. You know, so now I mean they're hollow and they just I just have to do the notches and 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 you know and key and that and a key on the bow and and that's it. So Manny, I mean, you, Manny you're 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 planning on doing two versions, correct? Uh, I know you're 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 the big one that you're working on right now, the all aluminum piece. I know you're working hard on that one. You've been working. Yeah, on I'm that working. For a yeah, bit. actually, I want on this yes. one uh, on the the one for Force Awakens. I yep. wanted to uh, offer a fully assembled, fully painted, fully weathered prop, okay? Right. And uh, I'm planning to do uh, a run for mm -hmm. the New Hope, but just the frame, just the the trigger, the real clip, and another another RPF member, Tim, you know, his uh, user in the RPF is Java Java 467, I believe. He just recently did a run for the cleat, the, for, for the, the front side, the cleat, the, what else? Oh, the block where the barrel goes. I mean, he did different parts and the skull mount. So he's going to be taking care of that. And I'm going to be doing the rest of the parts to, to offer that, you know, amazing, you know, uh, bow caster, all made out of aluminum. Yeah. That's so, cool. So you're collaborating with somebody else. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I sent pictures to Adam Savage and he loved it, man. I mean, he's just, I mean, yeah. that's a prop that you don't see yeah. at all. You yeah. know, not that many people owns it. Yeah. Do you know, what, so, I'm sorry to cut you off, Manny. Do you know what you're, so again, to be clear, so you're going to, your first, you're going to be doing a run for the Force Awaken on version. Right. Yeah, those part. are, those are the spin cast mm -hmm. parts. I made uh, masters made out of aluminum, and then I had a spin cast shop in Colorado to make the, the, you know, the molds, and I'm gonna be using be using those. Those are exactly the same like the ones used by, by prop shop, and uh, I laser. I mean, I found the same material, you know, mm -hmm. with the dials, you know, all the details are there. I mean, I'm I'm still can't believe you know how, how far i went on this on this piece do you do you know do you have an idea yet of your run that you're going to do i know already five people that are viewers of our show that are on board obviously that you're familiar with do you know how many uh, that you're looking at doing as a, a i don't first? know yet i mean i would like to do an interest thread first you know to see yeah. how many people will be on board and right. if I'm gonna be offering this as a sample, painted, ready to display piece, right, right. I probably have to do in batches of 20 or 25, okay. you know, because I don't, I can't take 500, 600 orders, you know. I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I mean, just, I, I don't know how many people will be interested. I'm just, I know that like uh, Joseph and I, you know, when prop shops started to offer these props, I was one of the first who jump on it. You yep. know, and I pre order it, you know, and unfortunately, you know, Prop Shop later told me, hey, send emails. Listen, we're not going to make, be making this anymore. Here's your money back. Yeah. And uh, I heard that uh, there were more than 2,500 orders just for the Shoei Bowcaster. Yeah. You know, that was crazy. I know crazy. You're, doing, you're doing all the footwork right now and, and all the, the hundreds, literally hundreds of hours that go into. You know, making sure all the reference is correct and oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and actually, I'm, I'm, and you know, I'm I'm totally uh, replacing you know the 3D print parts. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, because now it's going to be all made out of aluminum, which yeah. actually the you know the Barnett Commando Bowcast was made out of aluminum. But yeah. I can understand the actors were they were not going to be carrying you know a heavy you know right. blaster you know in those yeah. scenes. You know, so it just. Yeah, uh, I mean, I can't imagine, you know, uh, how much uh, Jeremy Bullock suffered, you know, carrying that uh, Webley uh, flare gun, you know, an Emperor Strikes Back. No. So this is your kind of your. Yeah, that's a 3D scan of the of the prop shop. I mean, we they clean it up for me, you know, mm -hmm. so that's actually the final piece that's going to be uh, machine, mm -hmm. you know. 
Got it. Well, I mean, he's I just that's going to be a hundred percent, you know, screen accurate right there. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean, I know some people they may suggest like, hey, Manny, why don't you do the frame out of resin? You know, so I mean, it will be true, true screen accurate. You know, but man, I don't, I'm, you know, yeah. I'm not planning to make, you know, molds. You know, yeah. I mean, it's going to be more complicated, and I want to do something different. Yeah. You know, and uh, I actually, you know, I don't have the cost, the final cost yet, but I really looking forward to to offer something, you know, be below what Prop Shop was offering, you know. Yeah. So awesome. and you get a better quality product. Yeah, so, that's yeah. beautiful. So so now you guys know, uh, keep an eye out. And um, yeah, I, I think once i mean i'm sure we're going to be in touch with manny on on this project for a little yeah. bit so. yeah, I, probably, I mean i'm probably gonna be you know doing the interest thread in the on the rpf okay so i mean most of the people you know they're they're members of the rpf if not i'm gonna i mean i'll i'll probably announce it on my, on my facebook page too yeah. mm -hmm. so everybody can can you know look it manny, up manny be, be be very very aware that we have a, a pretty crazy clientele of viewers. <laughs> so, so with the run that you're looking at, I don't even think you'd have to get on the RPF. But, but be, be ready, be prepared. So. Gosh, yeah, I don't know, man. I hope it's not overwhelming. I mean, uh, the yeah. machine shop yeah. that is helping me out. I mean, we're doing a run of uh, Vader uh, chess boxes and an aluminum. You know, this is my yeah. third run. It's been... I mean, I apologize with, with customers, you know, of all the delays that the machine shop is being, you know, going mm -hmm. through, you know, but it's the third run and we did an upgrade. We did updates on the, uh, on the, on the chess boxes to make it more screen accurate, our return of the Jedi and first strikes back. So a lot yeah. of people are waiting for those. Yeah. So, and I think we, we got, I think we got pictures of those too at one point. So yeah. We'll, we'll, so we'll I mean, we're, this is the third run. And uh, I should have it done, you know, last last year, and unfortunately it didn't happen. But people are being very patient. Others, they were not that patient, so I have to send money back. Yeah. And uh, on their deposits, but uh, I mean, the people yeah. are being that are being waiting. They know that when they receive it, they're going to be super, super pleased. You know. Wow. So. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll keep everyone updated too if Manny um, has any updates that wants us to share with you guys. So. Absolutely. Stay tuned. So, all right. So this is your Terminator. Yeah. Uh, Howard, my friend Howard Semft, he did that, uh, the face, the, the head mm -hmm. of the Terminator. Amazing. He does. I mean, he did my Yoda and he did, mm -hmm. uh, I have a life-size Linda Blair from the, oh, from the movie, The Exorcist, you know, that he did for me. And that's mm -hmm. the Chewy bust that he did for me to promote the bowcaster. So oh, that's from I Hope. And, and there the you can see, one, right? yeah, the prop shop one, and you can see all the parts that are already machined, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, and you can see the side knobs and and yeah. the box, you know, the crate where you know usually the prop shop, you yeah. know, props they were they use huge, yeah. That's a nice chewy. He did a good job on the chewy. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And that's yeah, that's my life size alien from the first movie. They only make hundred of those. Uh, Who made them? Uh, you know, at Hollywood Collectibles Group. Oh, okay, it's Hollywood. Yeah, I mean they're very close to me, and they're on Orlando, Ooh, and uh, that's the sideshow pet alien, and of course, I mean no clear lack of detail, you know, and uh, I have to, you know, <laughs> add some personal yeah. touches, and I clear coat that thing, man. I mean like three or four coats of clear, and you mm -hmm. can see the clear dripping. You know, it's amazing in 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 in, in person. It, that piece is amazing. The movie oh. sucks, by the way, but the the <laughs> alien is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at that! That's so cool. Yeah, that came out good. That one, I have to clear cut it too. You know, I mean, there was yeah. completely flat paint, lack of detail, and uh, it was a challenge, man, to 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 clear coat that thing because I have to make a jig to hold the head. You know, mm -hmm. there was no way to hold it, you know, yeah. and uh, super heavy. That that statue is super heavy. That's it's seven bad. feet tall, probably taller. Oh, that's massive. One, yeah. I bet. Massive, massive. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can see yeah. Right there. You can, yeah, you can see, well, the, the dripping, you know, um, on his uh, jaw, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, a little bit of the clear. 
But yeah. that piece is amazing. I mean, I think that uh, that alien from the first movie is, is more menacing than the alien warriors, you know, from, yeah. from the, the second, the sequel, you know. I mean, the queen is pretty menacing too, you know. That's yeah. a huge piece. Now, I, I want to ask you about these, Manny. Um, do you do the the Boba Fett blasters too? Yeah, that's a run that was done by my local machine shop. Another mm -hmm. guy, a friend of mine, started the run uh, with me. He just, uh, you know, dropped the project, you know. And uh, this run took, man, like almost two years and a half to complete. Jeez. A lot of a lot of issues, you know. But we finally, those were the last, the last ones that we made. That's the Return of the Jedi version, and we did all of the, all of the Empire Strikes Back versions first. But this was was delayed because of the T tracks uh, around the barrel. It was really complex to make those T tracks. What was that made out of? Are they aluminum? All aluminum. Yeah. Wow. So all aluminum. Really when it's done. Yeah, because the original really one was I mean, the, the T tracks the same as like the Stormtrooper blaster and the lightsabers. No? Yeah, they look yeah. It's almost it, almost exactly the same, correct. And yeah. to figure out how to do the T-Tracks, you know, it was a nightmare because they yeah. have to do a jig and then we have to finally, they found a company to make a special drill bit to, mm. to machine those. That's yeah. why it took so long. So and, I, so and I'm long. sure the cost, right? That's the other thing I'm sure. That that we use a real right. Webley. We use a real Webley to 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 make it. Adam Savage actually got one of those from me, oh. and uh, he's probably gonna have it on, on on his show. You know, I don't know when, but uh, he he got it, and uh, he didn't get the barrel. He get just the the rest. You know, he was gonna you know of course add his personal touch to it. You know, and do the and do the rest. But That's he was really really uh, happy with it. That's really cool. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand that when you go into these kind of builds, me and Manny were talking on the side one afternoon in regards to what it cost him to put the, you know, all the originals together to create this bowcaster and, and the profits. It's just, it's. it's yeah, this time like, for the bowcaster, this time, yeah. man, I wanted to do it, most of the work out of my own pocket. Right. You know, uh, with the help, of course, of my local machine shop and, uh, and gosh, man, it just uh, because I didn't want any any issues during production. You know, I want to do something things right from the beginning, and I don't want delays. I want this thing to go smooth, and I don't want to keep people waiting. Well, Manny, is this the prop shop one, or is this yours? No, no, that was a run done on the RPF. Wow, you know, by two, great. three people actually. And uh, man, I was amazed with the yeah. quality of that thing. You know, I mean, it just um, they went the extra mile, you know, doing that problem. Yeah. You know, they found the very same wire using the original. Mm -hmm. They, that's all aluminum, you know, spin cast parts, brass, copper. I mean, and they have this company artisan FX. I think yeah. they did all the painting and weathering and uh, amazing. And it's hollow. That's you great. can actually convert it to a FX. The FX. You know, that's really cool. And if that for the size, that's really, it's almost spot on, right? Oh, it's, it's almost, I mean, I haven't seen, well, I saw yours, the, you, you had a, a, your show, you know, the unboxing, and I saw that you got, you actually got a replace by Prop Shop. <laughs> I got lucky, lucky, man. Last minute, I got that. You right. were very lucky, you very. know, that, that didn't, you didn't go through the same fate yeah. that Justice. Yep. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, I was definitely fortunate on that side. But yeah, man, that can't, that's beautiful. Yeah, the weathering, you know, the only thing that I didn't add on mine was the clip the, for the for the yeah. saber. Uh, you know, yeah. I forgot that, you know, yeah. so I have it. I just need to to have the machine shop to make it out of brass. So there's there's actually a little um, a little quirk right here on the, the little windows right here. So the screen used one doesn't have the little glass or little plastic bubble windows. Yeah, those I mean, all the cars there, they were made out of metal. You know, they probably spin cast the details. I don't, I don't know, but I mean, when you, I mean, it's cold to the touch. I mean, when you, you grab right. that thing and it, man, it's just, it's lightweight well, no. because it's hollow. 
what I was going to tell you is that, so I, at one of the, I think Comic Con 2000, probably 16, 17, um, I, I talked to the guy who, and I forget his name now, the, the one who actually designed the, the prop shop one, or, or actually like, you know, was producing it. I forget his name though. Um, but he, he told me, that the pop shop one has the little glass windows on there because that's what the original one that prop shop made but during production the little pieces the little glass tops came off oh, they came off yeah so in the screen used one they don't have the little glass little bubbles but because it was in the original um production piece like that prop shop made they they ended up adding them on so that's why the the prop shop one doesn't match the screen use one because oh. during during production those little those little these little windows right here right 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 well they, you know they, i noticed there's something i noticed on the prop shop uh bowcaster that on mm. top of the single point scope there's two mm. screws phillips screws Okay, to hold the to attach the scopes to the to the frame, mm -hmm. in the production prop, those screws you don't see that, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. and on the packaging, uh, the picture when you open the crate, you don't yeah. see those Phillips screws there, you know. So yeah. that was interesting, you know. And uh, yeah. I need to do some some more research about it because I yeah. I may have to you know attach those scopes in a different way so you don't see yeah. those Phillips screws on top. Yeah. You know? That's interesting. So. Oh, there you are with your with your terminator. Yeah, you, you, you ordered one, Michael, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to get mine. That's so uh, badass right Yeah, there. I have I ordered from from SciShow so many years ago the first one which you yeah. see on, on my left, on my right. Yeah, on the right. And, uh, yeah. That's about the thing is that it was the clean version. So I contacted SciShow like probably like five years later, and uh, the some the some part of the chrome was flaky, mm. you know, for some reason. And yeah. uh, they were very nice to you know to take it back and they gave me credit for it. So yeah. I actually, yeah, actually had the clean version, the combat version, and later I got the other one that's probably the one that Michael uh, ordered. That yeah. has the two the two guns. And Manny, that's that's the aliens gun, right? Yeah, that's the alien rifle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so proud of you, Gabe. Good job. I watched it this morning, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's so yeah, that cool. one was made by Hollywood Collectibles Group. That was the hero version with the counter, mm. the lights up. So who ma who makes the 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 one? So uh, Mark Elkins, who who. Uh, Got me all. It's. It, I blame Mark for for me ordering that that uh, T eight hundred. But damn. But he he told me that the only upgrade was it's going to have a remote control to it. Um, what is the one to the left or looking at the screen? Yeah, the, the one on my right. That that one was the first the combat version, which was all weathering. You can see all the the blast uh, on on the armor. You know, on the, yeah. on the body. You know. And before that one was the same sculpt, but it was all clean, all perfectly chrome, beautiful, you know. Right. But the thing is, like, uh, if you remember, there was another company, Time Timeless Collectibles or something, and Icons. You yeah. know, the chrome yeah. plating on Icons and those sculpts was flawless. I mean, yeah. flawless. It was just the head. Yeah. And I used to have one of those. I think they were retail at that time. Damn, that was probably like 30 years ago. I don't remember, man, like 26, 28 years ago. And it was just the head, no neck. And mm. the chrome plating was amazing, amazing. Mm. I mean, they actually deep it in copper. They deep it in, and uh, what was the other material I forgot? And then the chrome, amazing. Beautiful. Yeah, those are badass. Yeah, that's what I can't wait to see reveal helmets. I can't. Oh, you what are you that? doing? You're doing a reveal helmet? Yeah, that was the that's the that's the I think that's the first version. I don't yeah, that's the first version. I've been working on this version 2.0 for the past two, three years, and I haven't been able to finish it. So uh, I have people waiting on, on those. 
I would love a reveal. Are you going to do the bottom reveal too? Yeah, like, yeah, gonna... completely. Oh, you know, wow. I, I think I sent you some pictures, you know, of the prototype. I had that on display, uh, the Star Wars Celebration, the last one. Yeah. Uh, it was in Orlando. I think mm -hmm. it was uh, Star Wars Celebration. I don't know if it was eight, oh, I think. That was the last one uh, yeah. that was uh, on our in Orlando. And uh, wow. I had that on display. That's there, unpainted. I would love yeah. that. Yeah, it's going to be all symmetrical. That's one of the side show <laughs> Iron Man bust before I did my weathering and <laughs> Yeah. <you know. laughs> I love I mean, it, man. That's I love that. That's that's the best because yeah, you're just making it your own. You're making it accurate. That's yeah, awesome. some people they they say, "Okay, Manny, what are you doing? I mean, you're 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 losing, you know, you're making that piece to lose value, you know, because I mean, that was a, like a $1000 bust. Know. You know, but the thing is, like, if you guys look at it, you know, it looks like a toy, you know? Yeah. Well, I got, I got a lot of heat. I got a lot of heat from, like, posting that video of the baby Yoda. And mine was just such a simple, like, just rub off the pink cheeks off the baby Yoda. And even that. Oh, yeah, I, got I did the of, same. I have to do yeah, the same. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of, I posted a video and I, I shared it around. And a lot of people did, like, well, you're going to lose its value. And I'm like, well, I, I for three hundred dollars like i prefer it to look more accurate than yeah than well look what, what adam happened. savage did man he oh he, yeah he cut it off you he know, did the whole arm, thing I the know. legs the head off so yeah, yeah. mark Wilkins redid his iron man two different ones and they were badass we'll show them in the future show look at this that's the yoda from howard uh Samft. you know a very good friend i mean he's such a great i mean good artist you know a good sculptor you know, it's just, it's just spot on, man. So this is the same guy that did your Chewy? The what? He's the same guy that did your Chewbacca? Yes, the same guy. Same guy. Yeah, yeah the Chewy is uh, is the Any Hope version, mm -hmm. you know? And, yeah. you know, it's all commission work. Oh, here's here it is. Oh, yeah, that's the flashbang that, that's you know, signature. that, uh, you know, to, to Lou by Stan Lee. So you can see that he dedicated to... Oh, man, that's so yeah. cool. I don't even know what that is. That yeah, was very nice. I, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful with Lou because, you know, he'd introduced me, you know, to Stan and uh, to his manager at that time. And uh, man, I mean, I remember when we, 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 you know, we met him and we had a picture with, with him, mm -hmm. my daughter, my, my wife, my daughter, she, she's a huge Marvel fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was, I thought her heart was coming was going to come out of her mouth you know because to oh. be next to stan lee was like oh my god no i mean he's just uh amazing no that's so cool i mean and see what else we got here i know it's kind of off but i never knew icons made terminator stuff i never knew that that's crazy that's a real mgc you know that was a use for emperor strikes back mm -hmm. i mean of course uh master yeah. replicas they use uh you know their own casting you know metal mm -hmm. you know Mausers, you know, right. but uh, this is a real deal, man. An M40, you know, M19, I think, yeah, M19, yeah, the right. scope, and uh, a real MGC. So it's kind of like that's why I sold most of my master replicas, you know, to actually get yeah, into yeah. the real, the real deal. So, oh, look at that! That's awesome. Yeah, that's the war machine. Yeah. Also, so Iron cool. Patriot. Iron Patriot. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same. Oh, here's you hear they are. So here's the is that yeah, the, that's Greedo, the, that's Greedo the, killer? the Greedo killer? You know, they yeah. call it the Greedo killer, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Master Replicas never did that mm -hmm. one. They did yeah. the the other version, you know. And they didn't one. do the, the Return of the Jedi one too. That's I always wanted because yes. I have the A New Hope and the Empire Master Replicas. I always wish they would have done the Return of the Jedi one. Yeah, they never did that one. They did the Emperor Strikes Back. I mean, the thing is, like, they went out of business, you know. They could have right. done much more. Yeah. I like the company, man. They really provide, you know. Their customer yeah. service was great, you know, and uh, we miss that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the Greedo Killer, that's also on my radar. I, I always wanted a Greedo Killer. I've never heard of that before. It's so crazy. No, it just, it's a different, you could, you could usually tell by the scope. Like, this is kind of the most telling. Yeah, what happened is the story of that prop was that, in, during production, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't bring the original prop, mm -hmm. you know, from the UK because okay. it was a real firearm. Right. 
So they had to improvise and they used uh, an MGC. And of course, they didn't have the real scope, it was a German scope. And they, the flash suppressor, you know, they have to replace it. They didn't have the mm-hmm. original one. So that's, that's why you only see on that scene. And mm-hmm. I was very lucky to, to find the, the, the exact scope wow. on that, on that uh, prop. You know, wow. because they have different versions of it, but this mm-hmm. one it was actually the same one they used in the film. So this is man, this is a like a, a challenge, man, to find all this yeah. uh, this parts. It's the like what part. Michael is doing right now with that Star Destroyer. You know, I mean, yeah. getting all those model parts. You know, that's a mm-hmm. man, yeah. that's a challenge out there. Yeah, man. it's crazy. Well, and especially because they're well known, especially these because they're such well known pieces that a lot of Star Wars collectors immediately are seeking. It's like the Graflex, you know the 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 flashes right everybody kind of knows it and all these star wars collectors just immediately boom yeah they they identify everything you know right away i mean uh, i mean my my work is 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 a lot i mean came from 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 my my customers you know i mean manny you do this you have to change that i mean yeah. i mean i remember one of one of the guys you know that uh, helped me out with my vader revenge of the fifth you know with the armor you know, with the chess box, because mm-hmm. I mean, they know, I mean, they just, I mean, and I, I yeah. try to do my, my research, but they, they, Oh yeah. They just, uh, they spend oh, more time. Oh yeah. There's it, people you know? out there that know that one specific prop and it's like, they know everything about everything. No, this one, yeah. I mean, I have to use, I mean, oh, reference yeah. pictures, you know, I mean, it was oh, yeah. amazing. I mean, to do that Vader reveal helmet. Oh, the Vader reveal. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I, can, I skipped around one. Oh, look at that! That's oh, that's what one of my holy grails, man. That uh, Predator uh, helmet, because that one was signed by Stan Wisdom. Oh, you know, nice. and he he passed away during the production of that helmet. That was oh, made nice. by Hollywood Collectibles Group, and they actually they they couldn't finish the run, you know. So I don't, I really don't know how many were made. Wow. You know, and uh, that was the only Predator helmet that has all the detail on the inside of the helmet. Oh. You know, so it's, it's a very rare, rare piece. And that, that was, was when I was a booty the, shot. <laughs> yeah, I have to cover the, the, the tail because the tail is made out of foam. Mm. So if I use any chemicals on it, it will melt. It'll start melting it. Oh, there's that part it. looks almost like Zuckus. Um, a lot of people would say Forlom. It looks like the, the lower body almost of Zuckus, the bounty hunter in Star Wars Empire. Who, who does the egg? Also, yeah, uh, Sideshow did those. Oh, Sideshow, nice. Yeah, yeah. That, that was from the movie uh, Alien vs. Predator. Mm, gotcha. Yeah. It, was, <laughs> it wasn't a bad film. I, I, I like it. I think I, they did a good job trying to link both uh, worlds together. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so I haven't gotten quite there yet. <laughs> I've got a, lot, <laughs> a, a lot more aliens to go, right? There's like part three, part four, the Prometheus. See, like, yeah, right? Prometheus is a great movie, man. I mean, I really, I mean, you can watch that next if you want to. Oh, you okay. Know? I might skip three or four then. Oh, there's that's a the final, double. yeah, that's how the you know, mm-hmm. that's the finished product right there, you know. And I was, I was gonna go more crazy you know like i was gonna was gonna you know make a hole on the armor you know and put a mesh that yeah. i actually found i found the same uh mesh mm-hmm. that was it goes and be you know behind the armor yeah. you know and uh i may yeah. do that later i don't know when i have time i, I love the way it looks it just it just looks so bad yeah it looks a lot better it looks a lot man better. i'd like to get something like that for Haley. i'd love to surprise her or something like that you gotta get her that hulk buster yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, right. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's one of the ba- uh, the bus that I gave to Lou, and uh, I made one custom made for Dave Prowse. You know, without without the chess box, it was actually lowered, and I mailed it to to him in England. Wow. What's the? Yeah, that thing is huge, man. That's the Yoda. There it is. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, that was in Venezuela. Uh, that's one of the guys who used to cosplay 
uh, over there for for yeah. for us. Very Crazy. tall guy. So, is there a lot of Star Wars fans over in Venezuela? The what? The, is there a lot of Star Wars fans over in Venezuela? Oh yeah, a lot, a lot, yeah, a lot, cool. yeah, a lot. In Argentina, cool. also, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, I, you know, I think the farthest customers I ever reached were in in New Zealand, you know, and Philippines, Australia. I mean, all over, man. It's just like yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Star Wars just that's worldwide, man. You can't. You can't escape it. Yeah, this yeah. is this is the reveal version 2.0 that I've been working on, wow. and I had problems making the molds. I had to do the do the molds again, and that's that's the one I had on display on a Star Wars Celebration, the last one we had on Orlando. Wow. And uh, this one is all symmetrical. Mm -hmm. You know, some some people say, "Manny, you know, I wanted to see that piece." Mm -hmm. You know, asymmetrical. We wanted to see all the imperfection stuff, but no, man, this one is gonna be perfectly symmetrical i mean this is just gonna be different you know and it's actually bigger in in size yeah uh, i would love a reveal helmet that's that's always been one of my well my you know guys that want that size show offer you know that bust you know yeah. the reveal bust that they use my helmet for that bust did you they the, yeah the 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 the, the the you know the version before this one yeah you with, know, with your permission, of no, man. Unfortunately, yeah. not yeah. without my permission. That's you know, but funny. you know, but the thing is amazing how the fans can catch that. Yeah. You know, because I didn't catch it. You know, I mean, it was later that the a group of fans they 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 did like a three pages. You know, uh, you can mm -hmm. look it up on the internet and uh, and uh, where they put my mask on top of you know like uh, they yeah. brought both images together. You know, and this is Manny's. Uh, mask so right. what happened i think i don't i don't think sideshow was involved in just the the studio mm -hmm. that actually made it for sideshow they were the ones mm -hmm. you were responsible you know so sideshow yeah. whatever you know they approved the project you know yeah. but without knowing that i was actually the one who right. you know who, who made it you know so man crazy that is that, that's good to know that's crazy I, yeah i because i've i've always thought about getting that bus and and the display without the the head yeah and it, it actually smaller if you look at the the head the anakin's head is it's, it's a lot smaller it's actually no life size no yeah. you know it's, it's, it's a lot smaller yeah so mm -hmm. and the thing is like it, it lacks of detail because all those parts i i glue them on you know i keep like keep bashing you know like on the those models you know it was the same thing those yeah. are typewriter keys and the uh, the gold pieces are dental spanders you know made in the uk yeah. and all the keys on top of the helmet on the mask i mean and just uh the bands i mean i have to make a, a sheet metal shop did the bands for me but uh people can you know can get the the original bands you know they came mm -hmm. in uh in like in a in a bowl light bulb you know used in in, in films you know in those studios you know they're very powerful yeah so, Hey, look what look what Miguel says. You you can get Manny to now sign the new side the sideshow pieces. I know, right? <laughs> Manny, Manny to sign the sideshow piece. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah that's the that's a real Webley mm -hmm. uh, flare the gun. The Empire one, right? And that's the on top is the the aluminum version of it. Wow. Gabe, you're so knowledgeable about that stuff. I forget how how knowledgeable you are. No, well, I, I, I mean, I don't know. That. I just recognize, you know, what I mean, because that's the prop replicas is my. Yeah, that's. I, I, I lived on the RPF for a very long time. You know, you've never you've never asked me, Gabe, about yeah. your personal prop collection. But um, if if I got if I had dibs on one of your pieces, mm -hmm. can you guess what it would be? Um, Man, this is one of my my you yeah. know my the most complex props I ever built. It was a full size, all brass C tripio. Yeah, that thing's so, beautiful. Wow. We only oh, made Gabe. five of them. Leia. And Leia last, last year, thanks to Tom Spina, you know, uh, I I found out that Adam Savage owned one, you know, oh. and uh, I didn't know. You know, because I sold, uh, sold, you know, we made five. I kept one, the first mm -hmm. one. This is the first one we made. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided to to sell it, you know. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I contact Tom and say, hey, Tom, you know, anybody may, you know, may be interested, you know, and to get, you know, this is a new piece, a unique piece. Mm -hmm. You know, some of my friends say, man, are you crazy? Don't sell that. You know, I say, well, man, I mean, just uh, I need I need to sell it. You know, I need the, 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 the money. And uh, well, I mean, it just it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, and, you know. And Tom, you know, he said, well, let me, let me ask Adam. I think he has one, but let me check with him. And, uh, and then, you know, I found out he, he has one. So. Oh, wow. Amazing. He's all head to toes, all made out of brass. That's cool. Are you going to make it do another run on those again? I'll tel you what, there's a huge people want the three PO bad. For what? For the seed trivia? Yes. No, man. Unfortunately, that will be a fortune these days to I make something so. like that. It just, uh, yeah. that was done in Venezuela, you know, and uh, uh, I have to, two, two, two guys, you know, working for me to get that done. It was all, there was no mold. That's all like medieval armor. Made, oh, you know, wow. hammer the, the brass, you know, really complex, very expensive. And uh, I got it. Job, dude. What a the guys job, who helped me out doing it, mm. they were from Peru. Two <clears throat> are. True artists, you know. Wow. I made some some of the pistons myself, but uh, I mean, it was just unbelievable. I mean, like again, it was one of the most complex props I ever made. You know. So the and then so these are your your current chess boxes. No, that's those were the first run that we made. So the newest ones are are um in the making right now. They're actually okay. finished them. Okay. Which ones? Which Do I have the older ones, maybe, or the newer ones? Mine. The what? Which one version do I have? Um, you have the Empire Strikes Back. This is okay. this one is the Return of the Jedi one. Okay. The, the one you see in the picture. Okay. And I oh, there's your C three PO. Yeah, okay. that's the there's a guy, skinny guy wearing the the costume. That's where we're we're trying it. You know, to make man, that's legit. Sure. That looks really. Yeah, legit. actually, yeah. when I talked to Anthony Daniels, I told him, he say, hey, you, you know, we made a. A sea trip your costume made out of brass and say, man, that thing must be so heavy. Yeah. And yeah, it is. It is heavy. That's insane. That's awesome though. Look at that. I mean, for them to this is all hammered. This was all, all hammered brass. Hand, right? the, or the, right? the, the brass <laughs> cheats were imported from Italy, man. I mean, that was a true man. I mean I know, I know right now Pete drooling on this one. <laughs> I know, right? Manny, so let me ask you something. I think when I first started talking to you, didn't you tell me, isn't there Argentina or somebody over there that that is getting ready to start making these? Yeah, a friend of mine uh, from uh, Custom Prop, they make those out of fiberglass. That's where I got my uh, my suit, right? Yes. Yep. Yes. The leather yeah. suit, they did a fantastic job on that. Yeah. Kyle Claudio yeah. and uh, from Custom Props and Lucas yeah. Alvarez from Finish Props. You know yeah. they're very good friends and their their work is phenomenal, man. I hope that they, all the brass good. pieces when I was polishing the brass, you know, before I gave it to the to the guy who bought it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. even the shoes are made out of brass. Look at that. The yeah, pistol buddy, works. That's so Look at that. You got the, the accurate handles and everything. Yeah, man. Yeah, all of them. I still have some of the parts, actually, you know, from from those suits. Yeah. You know? Again, we did five of them, you know, and I think I still have some of the pistons. So back in the day, what was the cost to build those each suit? Do you remember back in the day? Back in the day to make that, I think it was around 10, 10 grand, you know, for to one? make it. For one? For one, yes. Holy shit. For one, and and yeah. you know, to make that right now, oh man, just to I don't want to, you know, yeah. it'll be probably triple, you know, at least yeah. you just, yeah. I don't want to know. Yeah, that's the yeah. prototype mask from that I had on Star Wars Celebration. Yoda that's the again. Some more close ups. So even the wiring, did you you, you did you? Yeah, I did that myself. Those? You know, all the yeah. wiring stuff. You know, and the uh, the cover bond is made out of uh, rubber. You know. Yeah, that's so nice. That's such a cool three PO. Yeah, that's one of the most incredible pieces I ever had a chance to build, man. I mean, and the speeder bike. So. I love how that's displayed. That's awesome. 
Yeah, a friend of mine, he did the display case for, for me. I had, a, I, had, I had those on display at the Star Wars Celebration, but they were made out of resin, the first one that we made. Mm. So, Manny, are you going to be at the, at the next celebration? Anaheim? I look, yeah, I look forward to it, man. It's, I think it's going to be in California, right? Again? Yeah, Anaheim, yeah. Awesome, man. That's going to be a celebration of us all meeting up for damn sure, man. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, I'd love to, man. I'd love yeah. to. That's how you got it. That's a custom made mannequin I was making, you know, for, for it. Yeah. That's your side. That's before, right? That's or before the transformation. Yeah. What a difference. Yeah, I could tell by that frame. That that always confused me why Sideshow did that dark, like dark frame. You know, because that's it's not well, it's actually a little bit darker than the colors in the in the middle, you know. Yeah. But that's not cool. that dark. They right. went too dark. Right. You know, and it wasn't clear coated. I mean, it was, you know, I don't know, man. Just yeah. uh, again, they do a fantastic work. Don't get me wrong, but it's just uh, you know, it's just uh yeah. I think those are the test pieces, you know, that was doing for the. You know, I don't know if the, the viewers agree with what I'm getting ready to say, but I think Sideshow, man, they have, they've changed a lot. It's almost like they're letting people on the outside. They're like they're they're more like the brokers selling other people's pieces than they are creating their own custom pieces. They, they used to do such a fantastic job and it seems kind of like they've slacked off quite a bit in the last couple of years. Yeah. I think sometimes they rush the, the jobs, you know, the, 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 the products, yeah. you know, so yeah. damn, look at that. I, I, I put all, all, all together, you know, this I, Vader I, I was able to get five of them, you know, for, I mean, all these years. It looks like a yeah. general giant uh, bust. Gabe, <laughs> oh, like me. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? That's badass. That's the armor and the the Vader armor for New Hope, and uh, actually the helmet. That's from that's a that's a precision cast EFX, the EFX. plastic one. Yeah. And what I did, I I painted it, you know, and it looks fantastic, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. You know, yeah. you know, it's casted from one of the originals, right? So yeah, that's cool. That look at. So this, I mean, A New Hope, Empire, and Return. No, no, actually, the, the Return of the Jedi's are the two, the two on the right, and the Emperor Strikes Back is the is the one on the left. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Again, that was the first run that I made. I mean, the second run they were more screen accurate, and now the third run that I'm doing right now is they they're gonna be way more screen accurate. Oh, look at that. So the neck brace is is made out of injection molded plastic. So I was able to make injection molds over there in Venezuela at that time. So are these available? Are you get, are you getting to? I'm gonna make those. I mean, that's. I mean, I gotta be working on three projects. You mm -hmm. know, it's the the Vader reveal and the finishing, of course, the the chess boxes right now. And I'm gonna be working on the bowcasters. So I mean, my main goal is to be working on those three props: the bowcaster and the and the Vader reveal. I'm probably gonna stop taking orders. You know, for the other Vader. Mm -hmm. uh, helmets, you know, the regular ones that I'm that I've been doing, you know, all this year. I'm probably gonna stop taking order for those because I can't do it all, man. Yeah. You know, and I uh, can't let people down. And uh, yeah. I may offer the helmets in kit, you know, on paint it, but I won't be able to paint it. You know, it just is too much work. Yeah. So I'm gonna offer something that I won't be able to to finish on time. You know. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely gonna keep keep track of that because I would definitely want one of those. Yeah. And I have to do it right. I have to synchronize, you know, the time with the, with the machine shop, you right. know, on, on everything, you know. So this, this is, is one of the custom made dioramas that I made, you know, for my Falcon. Yeah. And the, the Death Star. Yeah, that's the one immediately. The first thing when I got my master replica one, this is the first thing I was going to buy for it. And I was, I didn't know you were the one making them. These are beautiful. Yeah, I used to put, uh, have it on, on, on eBay, you know, but yeah. I stopped making I mean, I stopped making it. I mean, I, if people still want it, you know, I can I can make it. But uh, on a regular basis, I just don't offer them any, yeah. anymore. Well, just the Master Replica Falcons don't go up for sale all too much anymore. Like, you know, they'll come up every once in a while. But Yeah, I mean, mine, I was lucky, man. I, I got the signature edition, you know, from from Saisha, from, Saisha, from Master Replicas. Yeah. You know? That was in my office, you know, when I have the, I have two, two warehouses, two shops, you know, when we moved from Venezuela to here to Melbourne, 
and uh, I had everything on these plates. I know. Yeah, that, I you, did, you did a great job. Gabe told me I didn't realize you you did those diorama stuff. That's oh, a, that's the uh, K -S. K -S. yeah the K two yeah K two S so. L. That's so cool. That's the bus that I gave to to Lou. You know. Wow. Yeah. You see. The K2. Yeah, that, that piece, man, they only made so, so I don't, I don't think they made that many of them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Our buddy Lee has one. That thing's. Oh, Lee has it, one. Yeah. He was telling us a story about how, when he bought his new house, he was telling the real estate agent, like, it needs to be very specific, like the height, because it's. Oh, know, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, have yeah. This well, I don't know. I haven't put it together yet. So, I mean, yeah, yeah that thing is, is, look at the size of that thing, I man. Mean, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I, have a, I had a plaque signed by 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 the actor, you know, by oh. this guy uh, Alan Tukey. Yeah, his name. That's so. But this cool. you built, you did this yourself. Yeah, I mean, I, I spent years trying to finish yeah. that thing, man. It just uh, is the one you see on the um, behind me. Yeah, it just uh, overwhelmed. I had a friend of mine who helped me out to 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 you know with electronics. You know, it's complex. Oh yeah. You know, really yeah. complex. It, yeah. took, it took me about two about two years to finish mine. And mine's not aluminum. Mine or some parts are aluminum, but uh, mostly like wood styrene. Well, this one I went crazy on it, man. I, I actually powder coated the all the parts. Oh, okay. So they all powder coat. Wait, so they're so, resin? No, they're mat. They're oh, aluminum. They're metal, but you powder and steel. Them. No, no, no. That that thing weights a ton. You can't yeah. lift that thing. No, yeah. You know, <laughs> you yeah. can't. No, I know. I mean, even mine's all the frame and the legs are wood, but even that, that's too heavy to pick up just with. Yeah, wood. the frame is made out of uh, out of aluminum, you know. Yeah. Uh, one is of the one guys of the in the Builders Club, the Commando, 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 Commando 8. 8. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you yeah. get the, the 323 version? No, I didn't. No, yeah. no, no, because I didn't want to sacrifice space inside, yeah. and I wanted the doors to open. Yeah. So if you do that, there's no room, right? So you yeah. can put anything inside, and it's super hard to calibrate it for it to not do a face plan. And like, no, I'm and there are people that got hurt, you know, yeah. because you, they're like scissors, you know, they can cut your fingers, man. Oh, absolutely. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, I've been I've been thinking to to redo mine and do all aluminum, but it just oh man, it's just such a daunting project that I'm like. It is, man. It another is. One, babe. That one you have is perfect, bro. Oh, that's Big Lou there. Yeah, look at Lou. He sent me, he sent me that selfie when he that's got the bus. Funny, man. That's it was awesome. funny. He was messaging me constantly. Hey, man, are you ship it out already. You ship it yeah. out already. That's funny. He's man. a huge oh, no. Star Wars fan, man. I know oh, we talked about having him on the signature the edition. edition. Oh, yeah. That's, man, I was lucky to, to get one, honestly, yeah. because, uh, I don't know. Michael told you about you know the one that EFX was announced. Yeah, they were they got twenty. They're supposed to get twenty five of them. You know they were going to take it apart and weather mm -hmm. it and and all that. And uh, I pre ordered it, and uh, I and they took all the money out of my card, all of it. You know, and uh, and no response, nothing. You know, mm -hmm. like two three months, nothing. Yeah. And thanks God that I pay with my PayPal credit card yeah. and I was able to file a claim and I got my money back, but they never responded. You know, it was just terrible. Yeah. Terrible. So, terrible. Oh man. Worse than Anovos, I think, or both are the same thing. Yeah. They gave no comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember Manny reaching out. Michael, do you think Gabe, might be able to because yeah, Gabe. Brady. Oh, we need to sue these guys. <laughs> yeah, FX. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, look, they, hey, let's they, take over the company, man, because they suck. <laughs> no, okay. you know? I'm like, look, the okay. thing is, like, I so like the um, Mandalorian helmet. Yeah. Brian exchanged it for me three times because I was unhappy. So he responds to my emails, and I maybe because we already have like threads going. I don't know, but dude, I met him. I met him at celebration, yeah. and I asked him, "Hey, where are the Legend Biker Scout helmets? You oh. know, it's been five years, six years. Oh, it's more, okay? yeah, six years now. And they took three hundred dollars, okay, 
and they haven't respond anymore. Well, well, we all got, I, well, I hope you did, but we got the free uh, PCR Vader helmets, remember, as a sorry gift? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I got one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> my $300 are there. It's yeah. true. <laughs> you know, because that was the price when they came out, 300 bucks. Yeah, man. But still, you know, it just it's bad communication, man. I, I can't get it. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I, 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 I got that one from Hollywood Collectibles Group. Yeah. Um, I I actually contacted the, the, the guy, the owner, mm -hmm. and I told him what happened to me with EFX. And I just, you know, I just gave it a shot and asked him, hey, do you have anyone left? Yeah. And the guy told me, Manny, yeah, I have one. You know, and I've been a loyal customer, you know, yeah. to to them, you know, yeah. and uh, yeah, he 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 gave me the very last one. It was this one, you know, number what, five. So, Manny, was it was it a collaboration with EFX and Hollywood Collectibles? I know they both offered the same. No, no, this two, one. No? Okay, Tome Tome no Suke, you know, in Japan, they offer only fifteen of these to Hollywood Collectibles Group. That was it, fifteen. Oh. You know, and these were hand painted i mean like they were blued you know i mean this i mean and they were i mean the 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 owner itself you know from 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 the company in japan actually put these things together you know and yeah. the the wood wooden box you know was for another company in japan very well known yeah. and of course they have you know harrison ford to sign it i mean that's the only blade runner blaster that was signed licensed by harrison ford so i mean that's Did joseph have that one Gabe, Joseph, I, I don't know if Joseph got Joseph. Um, I don't know if he got the signature edition. I mean, I I, I wouldn't doubt it, but I uh, I don't know. No, I, I spoke to him. I think he 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 didn't. I think he, got the uh, he has one, but not this one. Again, I was very lucky, man. I just uh, I never thought I was gonna have one, and that's the K two. Yeah, man, I want that. I want that K two. You could still, well, uh, my, my friend, uh, Corbin, you know, Randy Johnson, I think he yeah. made them. these are the shoulder, these are the R2 shoulder hubs. No, yeah, that's uh, yeah. I, we did that in co um, collaboration with a friend of mine, Jerry, mm -hmm. you know, and that that's like an easy way to, to connect the legs, you know, without having to lock them from the inside, you know, yeah. which is a pain in the butt, yeah. you know, now you can lock them in. You know, for transportation, it's a lot easier. Just kind of like uh, replacing a tire, you know, from your vehicle, you know. Just take those four nuts from the outside, you know, yeah. and that's it. You're ready to go. Yeah, mine is impossible. Mine, we, I, we design it. We design it that. Yeah. I did mine the traditional way with the with the wooden frame, with the wooden legs. Um, and I didn't do the pipe, you know, how they do the gas pipe. I didn't do that. I actually bolted them onto. But just getting the angle, right, because it's like I think it's a 40 – I want to say 45, 45 degree. degree. Yeah, yeah. With this one, it's you can crazy. actually put in two legs, very easy, yeah. and uh, put a 45 degree angle. So, awesome. and that's why it's good to have the aluminum uh, yeah. uh, frame. Yeah. And you see those bushings, you know, which are made yeah. out of thin copper. Mm. And uh, that way uh, they slide in perfectly, you know, right yeah. at 45 degree angle. So, Beautiful. Yeah, that was a nightmare. Most of the yeah. guys who start making their autoritos, you know, from the Builders Club, they they actually quit. You know, uh, ninety percent. Yeah. Uh, of the work done, they yeah. quit. It is. It is. Just even finding the parts that alone sometimes yeah, that's, that's an issue, frustrating. You know, because but that's a that's a challenge right there. But mm -hmm. the thing is, like, dude, I mean, I'm not very good at, at, at robotics. No. You know, and uh, I, mean, I need I need a help. You know, yeah. so it's just uh, impossible. There's yeah, no. that's the Predator helmet, you know, from yeah. this, this, the one that was signed by Stan. Stan, Stan oh, yeah, yeah that's the plaque there, man. Yeah, yeah. they're supposed to do a, uh, a thousand of them, but they never did. Wow. So it's just uh, sad, man, because that, that's an interesting story, you know, about Stan Winston. You know, he, he was, he wanted to be an actor, you know, he never expected he was going to do. Uh, special effects mm -hmm. he actually started doing it because he wanted to get in, in hollywood you know as an actor and look he ended up doing this for a living you know and look he won like three oscars yeah so hey what one, one thing that i i do want to kind of bring up because you know i know gabe's really big in this and and it's all there's always two sides to the story and and uh but when it comes to companies like anovos and especially like efx 
you know, when when there are things that are, you know, get tied up, you know, um, there's a lot that goes into this stuff, right, Gabe, when it comes to, to the manufacturing and the licenses and a lot of this stuff is overseas and getting the, the approvals through through uh, Lucasfilm and whatnot. And, and I know uh, Brian tries to make things good. You know, he's still around, he's still in business. And, and uh, but you know, I, I know that again, there's two sides to every story out there, and especially when it comes to the FX. And we're losing a lot of these license holders like Anovos, we're losing them all, you know? And, and when it comes down to it, all these guys get into business with great intentions and they come out with badass product, but it's just, it's overwhelming and it's crazy how- I don't see why not. We can make all this here in America, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. I just don't see why not because I there's a lot of talented it. people I, here and uh, it just- uh, Well, I I think my, my theory is that they, you know, obviously they start off with good intentions with, you know, getting that, but eventually, you got to realize it's a business. And once you start cutting those costs and start going to China. But look, you know, what? Okay. I, mean, I understand that you, I mean, let's not go to China. We can make that in Mexico. Yeah. I mean, we have such a talented people in Mexico that yeah. they can do the job. You know, absolutely. for example, uh, uh, elusive concepts, you know, most of the props they produce, they were made in Mexico. Wow. You know, the hand and that. carbonite was made in Mexico. Wow. You know, yeah. I think I think what what's happening here though too is that these companies realize that in order to make a profit they have to make a thousand of them, two thousand, you know, three thousand of them, versus kind of the way Tom Spina and Regal Robot are doing it, where they're making it smaller runs but way more expensive, right, to, to cover that cost. Right, 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 right. I think I think there could be a nice median, like right in the middle, right, where I think fans are okay paying a good amount of money for for a good prop. Yeah. Um, and we, and, and I don't think they mind bigger runs, but, uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely, you know, I think there needs to be some type of just haul. Well, some, you know, some of these stuff overhaul. are overpriced, especially life-size statues, you know, in my opinion, you know, mm -hmm. I think they're overpriced. I think they're, 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 they're profits. I mean, they're actually, you know, very good. You know, yeah. I mean, other props, I mean, I can probably see that, you know, they, they require more more labor, more time, you know, I mean, especially mm -hmm. when they are hand painted, you know, the much detail yeah. and stuff. But, uh, I mean, that's my very personal opinion as a, as a collector, you know. Yeah. Uh, we need, we need look, someone look, to come back Master with replicas, the replicas. Master Replicas, you know, they did yeah. a great job. Yeah. You know, high quality products, you know, yeah. I mean, as and collectors, she, you know, we appreciate that. Yeah, they weren't that expensive either. I mean, and they were not that expensive. Right. No, a lightsaber is like 350 bucks, right. you know, yeah. beautiful. The packaging was beautiful. The attention to detail, I mean, incredible. Yeah. So yeah. right now an EFX lightsaber, the, the, the one from Ray from, uh, yeah, and, the dark, uh, dark Ray or whatever. Yeah. The dark Ray, that's 1600 bucks right there. No, you know, I, yeah, I don't, I don't see it, but you know what it was? I think too, I think prop shop did a big a big shift in that right because remember when prop shop came out everyone's like wait what twelve hundred dollars for a, a luke saber you know an empire strikes back saber you know fifteen hundred yeah, but the difference there is that dude that they were the studio. same studio that made the prop for the movie for the yeah, time first time true. ever ever That's you true. know we were as collectors we were able to put our hands in the very same props yeah. used for the film so yeah. that's where that's why those things were so expensive but what i'm saying is that i think that kind of desensitized the collector like a collector like me when i bought the the kylo ren saber that was the most expensive prop i've ever purchased yeah yeah and, it's true it's true but then after that one i was like oh okay like fifteen hundred dollars you know i it's not such a hard hit because I've already spent that. So then I start, you know, I, I started telling myself it was okay to spend more. So I think that's where EFX is like, well, if they're willing to spend that much on this, then we can charge this much, you know, but who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I saw, uh, my, my friend Andy, he told, uh, he, he sent it to me. There was, a uh, the prop store, you mm -hmm. know, they were having for, for auction, uh, one of those bowcasters, you yeah. know, 
So I don't for, know for how much they, they, they ended up selling it, you know. Five. But uh, the one that uh, the, the the one that I have that I own was actually uh, is signed was signed by Peter Mayhew, yeah, and actually was belonged to Carrie Fisher, you know, yeah. So it was put it for auction. The guy who who gave it to me, you know, I mean he he I don't know he bought it in an auction, you know, I don't remember, but mm. uh, they were very rare. Yeah, I think they're only seven. They only made seven. So yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's cool. There's the helmet. Yeah, I have all all my stuff put up, you know, in my storage units. This is the one that I, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that for you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to order that just because, like I said, I have I have the signature edition ATAT right under it, so I think it would look perfect with the snow diorama and then the. Oh snow. yeah, man, that snow looks so real, man. So yeah. so real. It'd it. be cool, Dave, if he could do something with the Phantom Menace. Um, yeah. <laughs> after after he does after he does your um, didn't you want a porg from uh, the Last Jedi, right? <laughs> Life size porg for you, Michael, from your favorite film. Oh, the hilarious, dude. oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, okay. Can so you cool. imagine being a director and you're going to be directing Mark Hamill and you're getting ready to say action? As he goes and sucks on the titty of a monster, bro, that's fucking bullshit, dude. That is so much bullshit, dude. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I, I am so sorry for Mark Hamill that he had to endure that crap, dude. That's, <laughs> that, that's all good, dude. Don't piss me off, dude. I know, I know. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, that's the only that's the only time that they were they produced that helmet, you know, from yeah. the original Predator movie, with all the detail on the inside. So, yeah, so that's amazing. cool, man. And it, and again, I think it's it's one of those pieces that it's it's rare that we get a glimpse of of the inside too. Yeah. So thank you. Oops. Yeah, Hollywood collectibles did a lot of stuff. I, I don't laugh when I say this, but I've got a life size ET. It's really cool in my theater. I love that thing. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, there's your R two. Oh, there's the case. Yeah, that thing has a lot of detail. That's from the movie Predator uh, mm -hmm. versus Alien versus Predator. How tall is that? About two feet. The what? How tall is that thing? About two feet tall. Gosh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I mean, that's it's pretty. I mean, I bought two of them. You know, and the reason for that is to put one on each side of the alien mm, statue. Yeah. You know, and they light up. You you oh, plug really? the wall, and the, the inside light up. That's cool. All yeah. right, did you repaint it, Manny? Come on. The what? <laughs> Did you repaint it? No, that one I didn't touch it. Okay, wow. No, I that's like it the way the way they did it. You know, yeah. it wasn't that. That's bad. a compliment, you know, to the artist. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't say that all the stuff that Sasha makes is bad. You no. know, I mean, it just the uh, it just you know. You went with the a new hope with the yeah. New I wanted hope to that. do the new hope version. Yeah. yeah. Man, yeah. Gabe, I'm really proud of you, bro. You you know a lot more than I would expect you to know when it comes to that kind of stuff. I, Michael, I spent two years building an R2. <laughs> I know, man. That's I, a, I mean, hell, I, I, I know have, all the parts, you know, all the R2 parts, man. That's yeah. You yeah, gotta I put have it together to. two for 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 two customers, you know, helping them out, you know, and uh, two of my of my friends, you know, yeah. Felix and Brian, they're helping me out with electronics and stuff, you know. Did you keep? But, uh, did you keep the on the back door? Did you keep one of the one of the doors uh, unpainted? Oh yes, I did. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's all it's all aluminum color. Yes. Yeah, I, I did yeah, the yeah. same on mine. I I kind of picked and choose. I I didn't really focus on like one specific R two because obviously even in a New Hope, there's so many of them. Yeah, uh, they they did. You can see in different scenes that they're different. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look what Darth says. <laughs> he would shoot that shit if it was in his house. <laughs> He's afraid something's gonna come out of that alien egg. <laughs> hey, get, get your flamethrower exactly i know man i think those that, that those are all the pictures right manny do you remember are there any other ones that you think we missed i don't think so right it's quite a bit yeah i think yeah. we're all i don't I think, I'm yeah wrong. i think that those were all of them um i mean that's obviously that's a crazy collection you had and obviously all your your projects are are amazing man uh, Thanks. Thank you for thank sharing you. it. Oh, you're very, you're very welcome, and thank you guys for for having me, man. I mean, appreciate your support, and, uh, and, and for the people who are watching, you know, or being, you know, 
giving me their their support all these years man it just it yeah. means means a lot you know it means yeah. a lot I mean, and this is my my full-time job you know i mean sometimes it's overwhelmed mm -hmm. you know today i mean i was painting against the clock you know yeah. because here in florida you know the weather is bipolar yeah. you know i mean it just uh it's just crazy yeah and, uh, well well manny what i do want to say is that you definitely are a kind of staple in the prop community i mean obviously you're you're, you're known your work is so amazing it's so well done but before I gotta ask you about that Gamorian guard uh, axe thing. Oh right yes, behind you. Is that something you you made a run of too? No, or? I got it from a, a guy from the RPF who made it, and uh, they he used the original parts, and uh, it was a hair dryer. You know, the the, the front part was a really? hair dryer, and uh, they plugged you know the blade there. You know, and uh, another friend of my, I mean, a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And he got me, you know, he bought one and said, man, you like to get one, you know, I said, yeah, yeah, man, that looks pretty cool. And I have, uh, Billy D Williams to sign it for me. Oh but, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. My friend Andy made a plaque and, uh, and one of my friends, uh, Paul, he, you know, he went to Star Wars celebration in, in mm -hmm. Anaheim, you yeah. know, and Billy D Williams was there and, uh, he, he signed it. So I, I want, uh, Corey D his son actually to sign another plaque for me because he was in the film you know he played one of the uh the guards you know on right. the on the, the skiff skiff. Guards. yeah yeah so yeah that's right those are the skiff guard ones i i no, they're not the gamorian guard yeah i was gonna say the gamorian, the gamorian gamorian has bigger no no i don't think well i don't know he, he, they, yeah they i think so yeah. they have they have a staff like that too i think Plateau. it's a little bit different i think it's more of an axe no the the one that they have Yes. Oh, and I forgot to mention, guys, I'm a big James Bond fan. You know, oh, so yeah, I me a, too. Yeah, me I didn't, I didn't send, I didn't send yeah, you a picture of my it. James Bond collection, yeah. but uh, SciShow recently, and was this game, this company, uh, they re-released the Golden Gun. Yeah, but in a box, know? right? Like in a yeah. Open box. And uh, I remember when the fir the first announcer they first offered that Golden Gun. Mm -hmm. They offer it signed by Christopher Lee and Roger Black Moore. Moore. Yeah, so I, I got I got that one, you know, years ago. Oh, so I mean, I, so when that one came out, I I pre-ordered it as well when it first came out, but I didn't do the signature edition because back then I was like, oh, that's I think it was like twelve hundred dollars for the yeah, signature. that was like twelve hundred bucks. And it was like seven hundred dollars for the other one. I was Correct. like, oh, I think I'm just gonna do the yeah. But now you know these phenomenal actors you know passed away i right. mean that's man yeah. that's a treasure you know right yeah. there because it's a dual signature right you know so that's another that's one of the grails that i'm 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 on the hunt for so if anybody knows of one i i think i want to yeah I wanna I mean, that, james bond is just like i can't hardly wait to see the next one you know yeah. Do you have the, any of the other ones like the golden, the golden eye or the jaws? Yeah, I have that one, the golden one. eye. I have it, and I have Fanky Jensen to sign a plaque for me. Oh. I met her at uh, in Orlando, and yeah. uh, she signed it for me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, again, Manny. I, I mean, I I want to thank you so much for coming in and showing us all this stuff. And and obviously, are you you very active still on the RPF, right? Well, yes, uh, because, you know, I, I did that run for the Boba Fett Blasters, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm planning to do the run for the for the Bowcasters, you know, yeah. and uh, I mean, I'm, you know, I was pretty new to the RPF. I mean, I was starting mm -hmm. to be active, you know, like three years ago, you know, okay. maybe four years at the most, yeah. you know, but uh, again, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, in, you know, in very, a lot of forums, you know, because again, yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of drama, you know, on, on some of those forums, you know, and, yeah. uh, and you know, you guys don't get me wrong or, or my, my, my customers, you know, and friends, you know, but yeah. it just like, I mean, they get to, to, you know, to, to drama Queens there, you know, and just yeah. like, uh, come on. Yeah. I mean, we're all collectors, you know, it should be fun. And, and they yeah. take away the fun from, from people, yeah. Yeah. you know, Yep. And it's like a competition, you know, who has the best costume, you know, who is the best, you know, prop maker out there, you know. There's no, I mean, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. 
and I don't check any 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 people's work. You know, I mean, and I, I can't say my work is the best. Only only you people can say that. You know, I'm not I'm not looking on other people's work. You know, I don't have the time. I barely have time for my my wife and my daughter. You know, because yeah. this is time consuming, man. All doing all this. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So Manny, just if if someone is interested in contacting you for for something what's the best way they could contact you the best way is go to my facebook page portal okay. mac prop studios and they can private message me they can go to um, rpf you know uh, is on their portal mac and uh email my email is is portal studios at gmail.com so i mean it just okay. uh i mean that's the way the best way to contact me perfect you know so perfect. but again i just uh I uh, appreciate, you know, all these years, you know, people are being supporting my work, you know, and, uh, and again, I mean, just, uh, it's, uh, it's a blessing, you know, after, you know, I never respect I was going, I was going to do this for a living, you know, so it just, uh, it's, it's incredible. I still not believe it. So we thank you. We thank you that you did. We thank you that you chose this because again, it's, it's highly appreciated in the community. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Cool. Michael, any any final thoughts? Well, you know, Manny, we, we, we talk often and it's I'm I'm so glad to call you friend, Manny. And uh I appreciate you. I respect you and keep up doing everything that you do, man. No, we're a family, man. I mean I mean right. dude, I mean I know so many people around the world, I mean, that I can call friends. You that's know, right. that's it's not just a customer relation yeah. because First of all, we are collectors, you know, we're Star Wars fans, you know, we're Marvel fans, you know, James Bond fans. I mean, I mean, we just love all these uh, movies, you know, all this uh, world that uh, is fascinating, you know, it's just fascinating. And uh, and I think it's just uh, it's a it's a great relationship, you know, I mean, yeah. it's more than the customer, you know, it's more than the business, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you guys uh, having me, you know, here, you know, it means, it means a lot to me, you know? Yeah. It was our pleasure, Manny. And like I said, you, you hit it right on. You're right. We are a big family and, you know, again, we're, we're here to support each other and, you know, have fun. So no, thank you. Thank you. And I want to, I want to bring Lou, you know, uh, next time, like I told you guys, he'll be, yep. he'll be such a, you know, honor you know and uh and he's that would a be huge, amazing huge collector so i mean i would definitely yeah. like to have you yeah no and have you obviously have you join us too for that and then have you know a nice chat about collectibles that'd be oh awesome. yes oh yes yeah. yeah i'll definitely do that perfect all right, guys all right well, guys thank you thank you thank you again manny thank you everybody for watching collection war spending your saturday night with us as always thank you so much um, we'll see you next week, Michael. I love you, viewers, and you, you guys mean a lot to me and Gabe. And and uh, thank you guys for all the support, the continued support, and the growth of Collection Wars. Man, it's just amazing. Thank you guys so much. See you guys next Saturday. Yep. Bye. See you guys next Saturday. See you guys.